I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Janis Kula. I'm Jesper de Jong. I'm Henry Laksan. I am Francisco Segundolo. And you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Game to Love. It's been a bit of a quiet week this week, but we are back this weekend for the semifinals and the finals. And this is the first semifinal in the UMAG Open. It's Carlos Alcaraz, the top seed against Zeppieri, the qualifier from Italy. Alcaraz is the reigning champion here. And, uh, well, Zeppieri is serving to get us underway here. It is 15 all. It's had a great week as the Italian. We've got two Italians qualifiers uh, into the semi-finals, three Italians overall. There's an all-Italian battle next up between uh, Yannick Sinner and uh, I can't quite remember his first name. I think it's Franco Franco Agamemnone, which, uh, yeah, that should be a good one as well. But two Italian qualifiers coming through to the semis really good this week. But Alcara already here with an early chance on the serve of Zeppieri, 15-30. Hope you're all having a great weekend, by the way, if you don't know me. My name is Megan, one of the commentators here for GCL. And that's 30 all here as it goes just wide there from Carlos. Don't forget to hit the like button if you are watching along and subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. You hit 40,000 subscribers during Wimbledon. It's a huge target for us, so we've got 50,000 on our sites next. Hi to you, Joe. Nice to have you in. Hope you're all uh, going to enjoy this one. Should be good here. 40-30 uh, here for Zeppieri. ATP 250, this one. There's uh, a bunch of 250s that have been happening this week. We've had two on the men's side. and Sorry, three on the men's side and two on the women's side. Uh, we already had one final played today. That was uh, in Kitchbill. Um, Roberto Bautista Agut came away with his, the title there, his 11th career title, defeating the uh, the Austrian uh, Philip Mizalic in the final there. So a game point here for Zeppieri. And the return of circle is long there from Alcaraz, so it is the first game on the board here for the qualifier. It is one love. Good start for him there. Carlos did have a, a, an early look in, but does hold serve. So a good early start here for Zeppieri. Carlos looking to win this title for the second time. This was his first title on the tour. He won it last year. His first ATP tour title. So looking to defend a title for the first time is Carlos. Buenos dias to you, Alexis. Hope you're enjoying it in uh, California. I've never been to California. I'd love to love to visit. And hello to you from Canada as well. I have family in Canada. Still never been there yet, though. I need to I need to get on that. <laughs> Got the uh, Canada Masters coming up. I'd love to be able to attend those, the Montreal and Toronto Masters in this uh, US Open swing. But we are on clay here for the UMAG Open. It's that strange little part of the, uh, the tennis calendar between Wimbledon and the US Open where you've got a couple of clay tournaments. The women's tournaments, uh, well, one was played on hard. So you've got that we've had Warsaw and Prague on the women's side. Warsaw being the clay court and the Prague being the hard court. Alcaraz serving here at a love one. That's a good back on there from Carlos. And it's long from Zeppieri, 15 love. You also had a Kitzbühel, which just played uh, on the clay as well, that Bautista got one earlier today. But Atlanta is a hard court. So we're ma making the transition. But uh, next week, we are all in, we're in America, well, the Americas. It'll be, uh, well, Washington will be the joint tournament next week, the men's and the women's. The 500 on the men's side and just a 250 on the women's. Also have Los Cabos. That's good length here from Zeppieri. Oh, it's into the net from Carlos, 15 all here. Hey, Jean. Uh -huh. Thank you. You are, you are the best, honestly. Really, really appreciate all your support. I always love chatting to you guys as well. And hi to you, Kathy, as well. Hi to everybody who's joining me on the stream today. It's my um, first one of the week. Hey, King Just. Nice to have you with us. But should be a good semi final, this. Should be bringing you, hopefully, uh, a few of the finals tomorrow as well. We've got uh, Garcia and Bogdan playing the final in Warsaw. 
Garcia took out Sviantek in the semis. And, and yeah, yeah, I like to see the young Italian talent as well. They've got so many good young players, the Italians, the Challenger Tour. It's ridiculous how many Italians are at the top of that. But uh, yeah, got a pull for Carlitos, I think, as well here. Yeah. I'm hoping for a, an Alcaraz Sinner final, to be honest, because I covered that Wimbledon match between the two of them and it was brilliant. So I'd love to see a rematch of that. But Zepieri's got Alcaraz at 1530 here. So maybe a little bit of trouble here. Again, Alcaraz and Sinner have to come through these semi final matches. They would be the heavy favourites being the top two seeds Alcaraz, the top seed, Sinner, the second, both facing Italian qualifiers. Final then to be played tomorrow. So Alcaraz with the second serve here today. Now, what's a good deep return there from Zebieri? Alcaraz with the forehand here. Zebieri all goes into the net there from the Italian. It's 30 all. Ah, thank you very much, John. Yeah, it's uh, it's an intense couple of weeks for me, but uh, yeah, they're going well, and uh, I'm almost almost done. <laughs> I'm getting there. Should be uh, should be done right in time for the U.S. Open. Should be a good U.S. Open this one. Alcaraz at thirty all here. That's a good first serve. A good deep return though from Zepieri. Now we have the backhand down the line from Alcaraz. Zepieri goes cross court. Forehand from Alcaraz. Zepieri back cross court again. Ooh, Alcaraz is into the net. And we've got our first break point of the match here. And it is for Zepieri. Somewhat surprisingly. 30-40 here on the serve of Carlitos. Well, can he capitalize on this one, Zepieri? In the, uh, the previous round... Uh, Alcaraz beat uh, Norbert Gombos. Uh, no, sorry, that was the round of 16. The previous round, he, he beat uh, Fogundo Bagnes, beat Gombos in the round of 16. Second serve here on the break point for Alcaraz. Under pressure here is Carlitos. Second serve, forehand return. Now the forehand cross court. Also, good cross court from Carlos Alcaraz. He saves the break point. We're back at juice. Yeah, yeah, it's been impressive, actually, isn't he? I'm just trying to find the uh, his, his route through uh, for Zepieri. So he beat in the quarterfinals. It was Zapata Miraes in straight sets there. Then in the uh, round of 16, he beat uh, Galan. In the round of 32, then he also beat, let me see, where, where's his name? I can't find, ah, he beat uh, Kachin of, uh, of Argentina. So it's a, a definitely a tough task test for him today, Zepieri, with Carlos Alcaraz. He's uh, coming off the back of the final in Hamburg, Carlos. Lost to Lorenzo Musetti there, another Italian, in three sets. That was a good final as well. But he's got it to juice here as Carlos, so out of trouble so far. Good backhand there from Zepieri. Oh, look, I thought that was long there from Carlos, but we go on here. And it finally goes along from Zepieri, so it's advantage Alcaraz. So, got a game point himself here. After facing the break point. The, uh, the Yannick Sinner and uh, Agamemnon match will follow this one. It's uh, not before 8 p.m. start time, local time. Alcaraz with the advantage here. That's a good first serve, forehand return into the net from Zepieri, and Alcaraz does indeed close the game out, saves a break point, and we are one game apiece. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos. So maybe a bit of a shaky start from both here, yeah, but one game apiece. I didn't see that quote, actually. I have nightmares with Italian players, but we'll try my best. I love that. <laughs> of course, yeah, Yannick Sinner getting the best of him in uh, at Wimbledon a couple of weeks ago. And then, of course, Musetti in the final of Hamburg just last week. 
So Zapieri's serving here. Oh, it's just gone long there from the Italian love 15. It is crazy how many players they've got, though, the, the Italians in the top, well, top 100 and on the challenge at all, like I mentioned as well. Three out of the four in these semifinals are Italian. Ah, of course, Berrettini as well at the Australian Open. I'd completely forgotten about that, that five setter. Yeah, and then Berrettini having to withdraw after later on in that Australian Open with that abdominal injury. That's better there from Zeppieri, 15 all. <laughs> Sean, Zeppieri had his chance. Better luck next time. Well, you would think that's probably uh, the way it's going to go here. But let's see. I'm not going to write the Italian off just yet. He's done very well to get to the semi final here. But you have to pick Alcaraz as the heavy favorite for this. Looking to defend his title for the first time to defend a title. Good serve back and return from Alcaraz. Out into the net, Zeppieri, 15 30. Little shake of the racket there from Alcaraz. He's already feeling this one. So another half chance here. Both players have uh, have had the uh, the other person at fifteen thirty on the serve. That's a good first serve. Four hundred turn here from Alcaraz. Oh, we got a drop shot from Zebieri. Alcaraz gets to it. What can Zebieri do? Oh, it's a little volley battle here at the net, but eventually Zebieri puts it away. It's thirty all here. Hey, it's you, Cobra. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're all doing really well on this uh, Saturday here. Just, I can't believe it's August next week. That is just Crazy, how did that happen? Yeah, US Open, the final slam already coming up. So, 30 all here for Zeppieri. Good serve out wide, 400 turn is good from Alcaraz as well. It's into the net from Zeppieri, and we have a break point here for Carlos Alcaraz this time. Oh, sorry, I thought that was a... A break point here, but I think Carlos' shot had gone out. I didn't hear the out call then, sorry. Uh, so, no, it is a game point. Apologies for that. I think the, the scoreboard here is a bit stuck as well. wasn't quite sure what had happened there, but it, the out call did come eventually for uh, for Alcaraz's shot. So, it is a game point for Zepieri here. Good serve. Back and return cross court from here. Oh, it's just wide on the plus one shot there from Zepieri, though, and it is juice. Not out of trouble yet. So Alcaraz is eyeing an early break here. Oh, it will be good to see an Alcaraz center final here. For a 250 as well, that would be a pretty great final. But I'm hoping Zepieri is going to make this a good match. Oh, it's a double fault. Oh, I think I cursed him there. And it is a break point this time. That's the first double fault of the match for either player. But it is break point Alcaraz here with the advantage. Can he capitalize on this early chance here? Zepieri couldn't in the previous game. What can he do here, Alcaraz? And he's got a second serve to look at as that one goes into the net from Zepieri. Pressure now. Oh, it's a very deep second serve, but it was called in. Now for backhand on the line from Alcaraz. Runs around it for the forehand to Zepieri. Now the forehand from Alcaraz. Cross court from Zepieri. Now the backhand from Alcaraz. This is a good rally. Forehand here from uh, Zepieri. All oh, the backhand just goes long from Alcaraz. We are back at juice. Saves break point. As they're asking, uh, when they, Sinner and Alcaraz played, who won? It was Yannick Sinner who won. Uh, I think it was four sets, not five. Alcaraz did take a set. I think Sinner won in four. Um, and that was the match that put Sinner into that semi-final uh, against... No, not the semi-final. Was it the semi-final against Djokovic? Gosh, my Wim I'm, my Wimbledon memory is just... <laughs> I've kind of put it behind me, I think. <laughs> but um, yeah, so Sinner came through that one uh, in four sets to set up that match against Djokovic, where he won the first two sets there and then eventually lost it in five, Sinner. But it was a very good match between them. So we are at juice here on the serve of Zepieri. As the quarterfinals, thanks. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, so it was the semi-final then uh, with, with Djokovic. Of course, probably not going to be able to play the US Open Djokovic this year. Oh, we've got another brick point here as there's a good shot from Alcaraz here. Forces the error from Zepieri. He dumps that back on into the net and it is advantage Alcaraz here. Oh, thanks for that, uh, Sean. A good Federer mini doc on the US Open YouTube channel. I definitely might would catch that. I'm, I'm missing my Federer content right now. I'm hoping, uh, well, he's going to be back for the Labour Cup at least. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'll definitely check that one out. Thanks, Sean. So break point number two here for Carlos Alcaraz on the serve of Zepieri. And he's got another second serve to look at. Went for a big serve down the tee there, did Zepieri, but didn't quite pull it off. Gets that one in. Return from Alcaraz is good. Forehand from Zepieri. Drop shot from Alcaraz. Doesn't clear the net. And we're back at juice once again. There's two break points saved now. Indeed. Please like the video if you are enjoying the streams. Every like really does help. And uh, subscribe to support us as well if you're new. Thanks to everybody who already does. So a lengthy service game here for the Italian qualifier. Saved a couple of break points already. He did have a break point in the previous game on the serve of Alcaraz. So this would be a good game for him to get through if he can. Still can't find the first serve though, can Zepieri. Yeah, the uh, the Lever Cup. <laughs> we'll have Federer, Nadal, Djokovic and Murray all on the same team. It's going to be great, I think. Well, great for Team Europe anyway. <laughs> This is a good rally here. We have a back and slice from Alcaraz. Oh, it's deep there from Zepieri. Now a cross court. Cross court forehand from Alcaraz. Zepieri with a drop shot. It's not great. And he dumps the volley into the net to Zepieri. And it's a third break point here for Carlos. That was a good play. The drop shot had a little bit too much uh, height on it. Alcaraz got there in plenty of time. Tried to volley it back to Zepieri, but went into the net. So it's a third break point. Hey, Andrant, hope you're doing well. It's, it feels weird here. Just uh, I'm just doing matches on the weekend at the moment because, uh, well, by the US Open, I'll be I'll be back to full time. But uh, yeah, it feels strange. This is my first match in a week. Getting back into it here. Yeah. It's been a good tournament. This uh, as this two fifty in Umag. So break point here for Carlos. Oh, it's good depth from Zepieri. I thought that might have gone long. Oh, we go on. Oh, that's another really good length from the Italian. Carlos can't deal with it. And we're back at juice once again. Oh, I like this, Rajon. Roberto Bautista, Gael Monfils, and Andre Rublev have all won 11 ATP singles titles. Yeah, Bautista Gut getting his 11th today in Kitchbuel. They all won one 500 title. Rublev has five, Monfils three, Bautista Gut with one, and uh, they all have a Masters final. How on earth do you come up with these stats, John? <laughs> that, uh, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. I like that. Yeah, they, they, that's like that level, the 500 and the 250 level, that's what they excel at, you know, but they can't quite make that step up to the next level. But, you know, yeah, that's a, that's pretty good. 11 each. It's a good win for Bautista Gut this week. So we're back at Juice once again. He can't close this one out, Zepieri. <laughs> King of just, yeah, I don't know if, if well, with this dream team uh, on Team Europe, I don't know if, uh, if they'll be able to do that. But it's going to be a fun watch, isn't it, Labour Cup this year? I'm wondering if I'll be able to get tickets for it, actually, since it's in London. So they're asking, will Medvedev be able to play? Medvedev should be playing the US Open. Yes, he should be there to... Uh, defend his title, champion last year, defeating Djokovic in the final. US Open have announced that they won't be following suit with Wimbledon and will be allowing individual Russian and Belarusian players to play. So Medvedev should be good to go to defend that title. Here to you, Ronan. Oh, bonjour, I should say. 
hope you're all doing well. If you are watching along, please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. So after saving many breakpoints, we have the advantage here for Zepieri now. It's a good return to serve from Alcaraz. Pulls him to the other side of the court to Zepieri. Oh, but he goes long. <laughs> it's juice once again. This is juice number four now. Can't get through this service game, Zepieri. Yeah, indeed, 20 minutes in and still only in the third game. This one has been a lengthy one. Second serve here. His, his first serve has deserted him a little bit in this uh, game as Zepieri. I know that uh, on the scoreboard there it says first serve percentage is 93%. I can guarantee you that is not right because he's missed a lot of them. Always into the net there, Zepieri, and it is another break point here for Carlitos. I think this is break point number three or four. Yeah, Isner lost in the, what was it, the, the quarterfinals of Atlanta? Yeah, because the semifinals are played today, isn't it? Yeah, uh, lost yesterday to uh, Jensen Brooksby. Surprisingly, no tie breaks played in that as well. But yeah, reigning champion. It's a good win for Brooksby. And Carlos Alcaraz finally, <laughs> finally converts the break point. He had four, but uh, he, well, he's a breakup. It is 2-1. And he leads with the break. Vamos, Carlos Alcalas. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcalas. Vamos. So they finally come through that one after 22 minutes on the clock. We've just finished the third game. At the change of ends, Carlos will come out and serve with the break at 2-1. So a good start here for Carlitos Alcaraz. Yeah, we've got the uh, Canadian Masters coming up. Toronto and Montreal should be really good. Maybe, maybe Felix will be looking to uh, get a good run in there. Yeah, Brooksby's been doing really well on the US hard courts. Now, 5-0 and oh in ATP quarterfinals. I didn't realize he had uh, that was such a good stat there for him. 5-0 and oh in quarterfinals. That's pretty impressive for the young American. So this is, uh, we are in the Goran Ivanisevic Stadium here in Umag. I mentioned earlier that Bautista Gut did win the Kitschbjörn final earlier today against Philip uh, Mizulic. The uh, the Atlanta semifinals will be played uh, very soon, uh, not before 3 p.m. local time. We've got Avashka and Dimonor in the first semifinal, and the second will be Tiafo versus Brooksby. So Carlos here serving at 2-1 with the break. Can he consolidate that break off serve? Took him a while to get, get over the line. So he's looking to spoil the Italian party here is Carlos. Three of the four semi-finalists from Italy. Two of them qualifiers. So, 2-1 Carlos. Um, we're just waiting here for someone in the crowd. Uh, Umag is actually in Croatia. Hence uh, the Goran Ivanovic Stadium. But uh, yeah, it's in Croatia. So close to Italy, which is maybe why we've got quite a lot of Italian players here. Wow, is that's a first round match in San Jose? Rebecca in a Casaquina. What? What? It's a 250, isn't it? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Love 15 here on the serve of Alcaraz. Not happy with that one. Is Carito shaking his head there? Yeah, I've noticed a few uh, big, big matches. Was it possible that uh, Naomi Osaka and Zhang Chinwen? Oh, it's a 500. Okay, sorry. My bad. 500. I was going to say, that's that's crazy for a 250, but yeah, 500. Of course, yes, the, the, the joint one, isn't it? That's ah, good from Alcaraz out there. Takes that one out of the air, smashes it. Not getting to that one, is it? It's 15 all.
Got Andy Murray coming back as well, playing uh, in Washington next week. Ah, oh, sorry, I was confusing it with the Washington. I was thinking because the Washington is 250 on the women's side, isn't it? And then it's 500 on the men's, I believe. But uh, yeah, San Jose is the 500 on the women's. Georgie Muguruza, yeah, I saw that. That made me laugh a little bit as well. And yeah, Osaka and Zheng, like I just mentioned. And uh, Andrescu Rogers as well. I hadn't, uh, I hadn't picked that one up. That should be a good one as well. That's, that's crazy draws. Good to see Osaka coming back. There's a lot of players that are, that are coming back, really. We're seeing, uh, well, Venus and Serena will be playing in, what was it? They took a wild card. Was it Toronto? They've taken wild cards in two. Potential second round between Osaka and Goff. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. And Zachary Andrescu. Some really good matches. I guess that's what happens on the WTA tour now. When you get to that sort of 500, 1,000 level, you've got such good depth. There's some great matches everywhere. Second serve here for Alcaraz. Good return from Zepieri. Good one-two from Alcaraz. That's a nice deep backhand. It goes into the net from Zepieri, and it's 40-15. So can he consolidate that break of serve here, Carlos? Don't forget to hit the like button, guys, if you are watching along. It would really help us out. I think Daniil Medvedev is playing Los Cabos, isn't he? I think uh, the, the 250 on the ATP side next week. Be good to see him coming back as well. And Akarath does indeed consolidate the break of serve. He leads three games to one. So it's a good start here after facing a break point on his own serve early on. Alcaraz has now consolidated the break for 3-1. So Zepieri serving here. This uh, semi-final, looking for a spot in his first ATP Tour final is Zepieri, the qualifier. Good serve. The return is into the net here from Alcaraz. 15 love. Let's see if I can pull up some of those draws, actually, for... Uh, for San Jose next week. It's another good serve here from uh, Zepieri. Good deep return now with the forehand cross court Zepieri. Down the line now, backhand from Alcaraz. Forehand cross court from Zepieri. The lefty is Zepieri here, of course. And he goes into the net with that forehand. It's 15 all here. Right, let's see. So we've got here is San Jose. Let me see if I can get this draw up. And have another look at it. I had I had a quick look at it uh, quickly before I came on here, but uh, a few of them I missed. And yeah, cruel draw for Kasakina. Really, is a cruel draw. The Wimbledon champion Rybakina. Sorry. Yeah, finalist last year, and then yeah, she couldn't play Wimbledon, and now she's uh, possibly going to play the Wimbledon champ. Well, she is going to play the Wimbledon champion. Oh, I'm 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 wishing well for Kasakina. And Rebecca as well. I love they're both such nice women. Like I want them both to do well. And it's a second ace of the match. I was going to say first, but I've uh, done a discredit to him. There's a second ace for Zepieri. Good serve down the tee. 40-15. This is a better service game from him. Yeah, I can see this draw here on Rogers, Andrescu, Bolta and Pliskova playing again. How many times have they played this year? Katie Bolta getting the better of Pliskova, I think, every time that they've played, at least twice anyway. But that should be another good first round. So Zepieri here with a point to close out this game. Goes to the backhand down the line. Alcaraz backhand cross court just clips the net and the forehand and goes into the net from Zepieri. So it's 40 30. Jabir here with a bite. It'll be good to see on Jabir back. There yeah, I can see Georgie Muguruza in the, uh, the round of 32. Muguruza, the fifth seed, doesn't get a buy. So just the four buys then for. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of. Uh, an advocate against the buy, I think just let people play, you know, let the lower ranked players get a chance. Well, it's consecutive events as well. I hadn't realized, yeah, three times in consecutive events Eastbourne, Wimbledon, and now in uh, San Jose. 
Of course. So she did get the better of uh, Pliskova both times, did Katie Bolter. Yeah, it's crazy. Zepieri does come through that game. Game to 30. So it is still a break to Carlos Akrath, but he keeps it to just the one to Zepieri. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Ons Shabir back on court again. It feels like it's been ages since we've seen, seen Ons. Yeah, so Jeremy, I'm looking at the draw here. So it, it says that the, the first, the top four seeds have buys in the first round. Um, so I th I think maybe they've given some they have given some wild cards um, because usually you get more than the four that have buys, but the top four do have buys, which so is Sakari is the top seed, uh, Jabir the third seed here, then we've got Sabalenka fourth seed, and Badosa is the second seed. So they're the four that get the buys into the round of sixteen. Yeah, Osaka Chimwen Zheng here. That's good. Goff Kalina. Uh, let's see, two qualifiers there. We're back in a Kasakina. That is just cruel. Yeah, Muguruza Georgie should be really fun as well. Let's see, but the, the other tournament we have is... Gosh, I can't... I'm, my tennis knowledge, I apologize, this week is a bit all over the place. Um, we've got... So we've got Washington, of course, Washington. <laughs> so it's a 500 on the men's side, a 250 for the women. The, uh, the top seeds uh, of the women's side in Washington will be uh, Jessica, Jessica Pagula. No buys in uh, in that one. We've got a, a few uh, pretty good first-round matches there as well. You've got a Tom Yanovich Stevens should be good. Boskova Raducanu is a first-round there. Boskova, a finalist in Prague tomorrow. So that should be a good first one if she, does, uh, if she doesn't pull out. We've got Merton Samsonova, Yastremska Azarenka. So some a lot of good tennis to look forward to going forward. I love 15 here on the serve of Alcaraz. What can Zepieri do here? Alcaraz, I love 15. Oh, just clips the net there, does his serve. So you'll get a second. Hi, Gary. <laughs> Good to see you back again. Yes, I, I was just uh, catching up on the San Jose draw as well. I've seen a couple of matches, uh, but hadn't quite seen the full one. But some pretty tasty matchups there. But yeah, thank you very much. It's good to be back in the chair. Talking to all you lovely people about the best sport in the world. I have been watching the Commonwealth Games as well. We're trying to catch up on the tennis and that as well. Don't know if any of you are watching it. I suppose you states side people probably don't have much interest in it. That's a good forehand cross court there from Carlitos. 15 all. Already won four titles this year, Carlos. He'd actually never lost in a final until the final in Hamburg last week where he lost to Musetti. Musetti getting the biggest, well, his, his first title, but probably the biggest win of his career there. Musetti winning the 500. Second serve here for Carlitos at 15 all. That's a good serve. It's a good return from Zepieri on the backhand from Carlos. Oh, that's wide from Carlos. Yeah, that was just wide. It's 15.30 here. Oh, Corday of Ashka, first round in Washington. Damn. I mean, unfortunately, Commonwealth Games doesn't have tennis. It has uh, it has squash and it has table tennis, but it doesn't have tennis. But uh, yeah, I've been well, I've been trying to catch up on, on all the different sports there as well as, as tennis. Oh, if Carlos plays Yannick, I would definitely uh, be asking to take that one for sure. Rematch of that Wimbledon quarterfinal. Yeah, I would hopefully, hopefully I will. I'll be asking for it anyway. <laughs> so 30 all here for Alcaraz. Again, players on pretty much every service game are getting a look into the opponent's serve. I think it's been a, at least 15-30 on, on every service game. Oh, what a return from Zepieri. Carlos deals with it, but it's long and it's a break point here for Zepieri. So a point here to get the break right back. 
I think there's a lot of uh, Italian fans in the crowd here. Obviously, the uh, proximity to Croatia, it's uh, Italian fans making their way here, and they've got three three guys to cheer on in the semi-finals. So a point here to get us all square once again. Alcaraz trying to save breakpoint. What can he do here? Oh, he finds a big first serve is what he can do. The return goes long, and it is deuce. Out of trouble for now is Carlos. If you are watching, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. So Alcaraz, out of trouble for now, but still, can he hold on to this break? And that serve goes long. We'll get a second. What can he do here, Alcaraz? Oh, it's a double fault. And he hands another break point over to Zepieri. That's the first double fault of the match for Alcaraz. One apiece now in double faults. Can he hold on here, Alcaraz? Zepieri did have a break point early in the match, but he saved that one. And we can't find a first serve this time. We've already seen that all the women's action today. The two tournaments playing all their semi-finals, ready for the finals tomorrow. Oh, Zepieri, good dig there. Oh, what an angle from Carlos Alcaraz that just cleared the net. What a shot. I did not think that was going over. He creates a bit of magic there, does Alcaraz, and we're back at the juice. Yeah, so Potapova into the uh, final in Prague will play Marie Buskova. Yeah, so I haven't been able to catch a lot of the matches. I did see some of her match today, and yeah, it seems that she has been playing lights out this tournament, to be honest. She thrashed uh, who's it, uh, Wong Chang earlier, 6-3, 6 love Potapova. So yeah, I think she is playing lights out tennis, and it should be a good final between her and Buskova tomorrow. The other final, we've got a uh, Caroline Garcia, who's also having a lights out way defeated uh, Iga Sviontek in the semi-finals. Iga Sviontek on clay at home. That was unexpected, but it is Caroline Garcia against Anna Bogdan, who is into her first WTA tour final at the age of 29. So that should be a good one as well. So Alcaraz with a point to close this one out after facing many break points. Yeah, this match is quite slow, to be honest. I mean, we're... Uh, oh, gone 30, 30 minutes and just five games played. There was that one really lengthy game, but yeah, it doesn't feel particularly pacey this match. But Alcaraz with a point here to close it out. And he does. It's a good serve and the return goes long from Zepieri. So Alcaraz comes through a tricky game there and he does lead four games to two. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos! Vamos! Carlos Alcaraz! Vamos! So Zepieri serving here at 2 4. First serve goes into the net. You'll get a second serve here. Yeah, he does, doesn't he, Caritos? I think that's why. Uh, what makes him so special, really, is he does have a knack for those shots. <laughs> when, you know, in the tight moments, he can produce some magic. That's why he's, he's, he's a highlight real player, is Carlos. He's so exciting to watch, but he, he's, he's got that clutch play that, you know, you see from the best players in the world. 15 love here for Zepieri. Yeah, Potapova making a top 50 debut on Monday. Huge moment for her. Ooh, into the net from Carlos, 30 love. Again, I've got Kaskina as the, uh, the top Russian player. Potentially, potentially she could. I mean, uh, where does Potapova ranked in the 
in the Russian setting. She's well, she's ranked 59 now, will be in the uh, top 50 come Monday. But um, in the Russian, well, she's she's got to be up there, hasn't she? Especially with the form of late Potapova. Oh, what a shot from Zepieri. Carlos gets there. Now we have a drop shot again. Carlos gets there. Oh, again with the magic of his own Carlos. Oh, the drop shot wasn't bad, but he made some magic. Then Carlitos there. It's 30 15. We'll get a replay of this here. It was a great backhand down the line from Zepieri. Carlos gets there on the stretch. Zepieri with the uh, with the drop shot, excuse me, and Carlos just finds the angle. Looking to defend his Umag title as Carlos. It's the first title he won on the ATP Tour last year. Oh, it's a great serve from Zepieri. Oh, the return is in there from Carlos as well. He's dealing with these balls really well. Now he's gone for the drop shot as Carlos. Can Zepieri get there? Yes, he can. Carlos with the volley. Zepieri runs back for it. Carlos puts it away at the net and it's 30. Oh, what a rally that was. What a rally. Carlos showing why he's such an exciting player there. And credit to Zepieri as well. But Carlos just getting every ball back in play. Yeah, I think so. It's, you've got Kasakina, Kudamitova, then Pot Potapova, obviously, as well. These not in order now. I know it's. It's definitely Kasakina, then Kudamatova. Then you've got the likes of Samsonova. Uh, you've got Alexandrova as well. Um, who else have we got in the, the Russian side of things? They're the ones that come to mind. 40 30 here. So Zepieri digs himself out of trouble once again. Yeah, his speed around the court is ridiculous, isn't it? And he doesn't seem to tire either. I mean, it's probably from being a 19-year-old, but uh, yeah, he can keep that speed up throughout a match. It's crazy. Game point here for Zepieri, though. Finds the first serve. Now goes to the backhand cross court. Carlos with the forehand on the stretch. Now goes to the drop shot. Does Carlos? Well, not a drop shot. It's a short ball, though. And eventually goes wide. And it is the game for Zepieri. So he holds on, does the Italian. And it is three games to four. But Carlos will serve after the change of ends with the break. That's a, a lengthy match so far. Nearly 45 minutes on the clock. And we've still not uh, finished the first set. But it is four games to three. Carlos with the break. Yeah, I don't know how, how many uh, others of you saw that match, the uh, Caroline Garcia and Iga Sviantec semi-final in Warsaw. And uh, it was it was so good, the level from Garcia. I mean, she she breadstick Sviantec in that first set. She's Yeah, 6-1 in that first set. It completely blew everybody away. Sviantec came back and won the second 6-1. And then eventually Garcia took the third 6-4, broke uh, Sviantec, uh, trying to serve to stay in it. But, it, yeah, was, uh, she's having a hell of a week as Caroline Garcia. The level she's been producing. I mean, she did win a uh, bad Homburg going into Wimbledon. So she, she is still on a bit of a roll. But, yeah, to defeat Sviantec on clay in Warsaw, it's a, a huge deal for her. And then she she pretty much thrashed Jasmine Paolini then. Uh, sorry, yeah, apologies. The uh, the eager match wasn't the semifinal. Sorry, I've been saying it's the semifinal. That was the quarterfinal because she then beat Jasmine Paolini in the semifinal. Uh, pretty handily there. I think it was one and two. So you've got to say Caroline Garcia is going to be that favourite going into the final tomorrow against Anna Bogdan. But it's it's a big moment for Bogdan as well into her first final at the age of 29. And you could see what it meant to her as well in that uh, win she had today off of Bindle, Ukraine's Bindle in uh, the semi-final. So that will be played tomorrow at 3pm uh, local time in Warsaw. The Prague final uh, we were talking about between Potapova and Boskova will be played at uh, 1 p.m. local time in uh, Prague. So Alcaraz serving with the new balls here at 4-3. Does have the break. Oh, thought that was an ace there, but the late call came. So it'll be a second serve. That's a good second serve. The forehand return. Now the 
depth there from Alcaraz. There's great push and Zepieri from side to side here. Now Alcaraz is at the net with the volley and it's a good put away. It is 15 love. Yeah, that, uh, well, Iga, prior to that match, was undefeated on clay this season. So it was a, well, French women breaking Iga's records this year. It's uh, It was Alizé Gornet at Wimbledon breaking that 37-match winning streak. You know, Caroline Garcia breaking that uh, undefeated run on clay. So I'll cut out the 15 love here. And it goes long here from Zepieri. It's 30 love. So this will be the last uh, clay court tournaments now played of the year. So we go into the hard court swing. Atlanta, they, uh, well, play has gotten underway in Atlanta, but it's the doubles match that's on first between uh, Eubanks and McDonald playing Kubler and Piers. So as soon as they finish, we'll have the uh, first semi-final there. It'll be Avashka and Demenor, followed by Tiavo and Brooksby. But, uh, well, an, <laughs> a quick service game here. Haven't seen many of those. But 40 love for Alcaraz. Could we be seeing our first game to love of the match? Can he do it here? Alcaraz. Second serve. If you are watching, please don't forget the like button and subscribe if you're new. Hope you're all enjoying the stream. Oh, double fault from Cast. That one goes long. So it won't be a game to love. I should have such an said really there, should I? It's his second double fault of the match for Carlos. Again, not entirely sure. You can see the on the scoreboard here that uh, some of these stats aren't quite right. First serve percentage for Zepieri, for example, is not 97. <laughs> but uh, that was a second double fault for Arkrath, not the first. And it's 40-30 here. So he's not through this game yet, is Carlos. Crowd trying to get involved here, trying to get Zepieri. Uh, well, I think they're trying, they're mostly, well, I say that, I feel like they're mostly on the side of Zepieri, probably because of the large Italian presence here. But Carlos is always a favorite wherever he goes as well. I think they just want to see a good match of tennis, to be honest. He's got a second serve again here as Alcaraz. There's 40 love up here. He needs to be careful. Finds the second serve. Return from Zepieri is good. Now down the line, he goes, oh, it's a great shot from Zepieri. And we are from 40 love. We're at juice now. The crowd really enjoying this one. Yeah, I definitely uh, cursed it, saying we were about to have a quick service game. So, Zepieri is not done in this opening set. Akrath serving at juice now. And again, his first serves deserted him in this game as well. Can he get through this one here? Oh, he was lucky on that. The second serve clipped the net and almost went long. Chance here for Zepieri to capitalize on the second serve, potentially. That's a good second serve. Block return from Zepieri. Oh, it's long from Carlos. And from 40 love up, it's now a break point for Zepieri. And Carlos is chatting to himself at the back of the court that he's not happy with how this game has gone. He looked like to have, he had this game in the bag, Carlos, and then all of a sudden, a few unforced errors, and Zepieri's crept right back in here. So, a break point for Giulio Zepieri to get us back on serve in this first set, in this first semi final here in Umag. ATP 250. And another second serve here as well. Pressure's on Carlos here. Finds the second serve. Another backhand return from Zepieri. Carlos down the middle of the court. Short ball here for Zepieri. He takes it on the rise. 
Now, oh, it's a bad attempt at the drop shot there from Zepieri. Nowhere near getting over the net, and we're back at juice. Carlos Alcaraz has saved all four of the break points that he's faced so far in this match. So I'm just trying to compose himself at the back of the court here is Carlos at juice. Yeah, with the WTA, you never know what you're going to get. That's kind of the beauty of it. I mean, sometimes I do think, you know, we miss having a really good rivalry at the top of the game, but it is great how you can just see so much variety in the game and so unpredictable. Oh, it's a double fault again from Carlos. Where are these coming from? That's his third double fault of the match now. That uh, the scoreboard is wrong. It says that was his second. It was his third. And he hands another break point over to Zepieri to try and get us back on serve. This is not a great game from Alcaraz from 40 level up. Then he's made, played some pretty bad errors. Two double faults in this game. So can Zepieri capitalize on this break point? It finds the first serve this time, does Carlos. Now he goes... Oh, he goes long. I was going to say he goes back down the line, but it's long from Carlos and Zepieri breaks back. We are on serve in this opening set in this four games apiece. When the situation's hairy, players want to scare me, never going to dare me. So that break kind of came out of nowhere. Um, yeah, exactly, John. Where did that come from? We're back on serve here. It's four games apiece. If you are, well, if you're still here, Dutchie, thank you for joining me on the stream anyway, and uh, you take care as well. Everybody, if you are watching, please hit the like button. Already uh, past 50. Let's try and get to 100 if we can. Yeah, uncharacteristic of him. He's hit three Carlitos in the double faults. And uh, we were saying earlier how clutch he seems to be on those big points, but... He's handed a few break points. Well, two break points he handed over with a double fault there. 15 love here on the serve of Zepieri. You make a good point. I dreamt that, uh, well, on, on, on clay, Iga, you, well, I, I thought Iga was pretty much unbeatable on clay, to be honest, until Garcia this week. But yeah, on, uh, on grass, she's a lot more vulnerable as we, we saw at Wimbledon. But uh, on Clay and Hart, she's a lot more dominant, but uh, the like you said, the Garcia game plan just worked like a treat the other day, and um, that's a really good match from from Garcia. Dirty love here for Zepi. It's great length there from Carlos Alcaraz, though it's 30-15. Oh yeah, Gary, we were just uh, we were just looking at that draw, and yeah, Georgie Muguruza should be really good, shouldn't it? Hopefully, Muguruza can be back to playing her, uh, her best. I mean, I'm, I miss Muguruza at her best. I really do. So there was a heartfelt uh, was an Instagram post that she put up saying, you know, she's uh, had, having a tough, tough year of it and hopes that her fans will uh, will stick with her. Oh, it's another really good length here from Carlos Alcaraz, and we're at 30 all. 30 love up. Alcaraz may be a little angry that he gave that break away. So chance maybe to break back here at 30 all. Finds the first serve does uh, Zepieri. Oh, the drop shots into the net. And it is a break point for Alcaraz to get that break advantage right back here. It's a couple of drop shots that haven't quite worked out for it, the Italian in this match. I don't think either player have quite found their range yet. Finds the first serve again to Zepieri. 
now goes back to that wing with that lefty forehand and he saves the break point and we are at juice. Yeah, Garcia up to 37 in the rankings. I mean, she's been ranked in the top five, Garcia, like quite a few years ago now and sort of dropped off the face of the planet a little bit. But she, she's coming back. Yeah, she's always a really dangerous unseeded opponent, really, isn't she? But if she does win, she could be in the seeds for the US Open. There'd be quite a few uh, unseeded dangers, I think, at the US Open this year. So, a game point here for Zepierdi after saving the break point to try and get himself a game away from this opening set. Second serve here. You yeah, have to agree with you there, Gary. If it does end up being an Alcaraz Sinner final tomorrow, Carlos will have to play better than this uh, to defeat Sinner. Well, if Sinner's playing uh, playing good tennis, which he has been this week. Oh, just lands in there from Carlos and it goes into the net from Zepieri. So, break, uh, game point is saved here. We're back at juice. But yeah, it's a, a slight return to earth, I think. Yeah. I mean, Carlos and Iga are having such good seasons. Um, we know that that level can't carry on forever and they are going to have to come back down to earth at some point. Uh, it's still it's still a little jarring watching it. But still, he's in a semi-final here as Alcaraz. But you really would expect him to come through this against the qualifier, Zepieri. Zepieri is uh, ranked 168 in the world compared to Carlos, who is now in the top five at number five. That's a good lefty serve there from Zepieri. He has the game point again, the advantage. You can see the chalk flying up there as it caught the uh, the back service line. So Zepieri with the advantage gets a second serve here. Can he close this one out? Alcaraz with the backhand return. Forehand cross court from Zepieri. Oh, what a backhand down the line from Carlos Alcaraz. He's not done yet. It is juice here. This is, well, stating the obvious, but going to be a pivotal game here. Yeah, indeed. I think that, that was so, sh what was so shocking about it was, you know, he got on a, probably a favorite surface. And, uh, on the uh, home turf, yeah, in Warsaw as well. It's a pretty good win there for Garcia, not just because she is the world number one, but as you said, at home. Yeah, I know, on the clay court, it uh, surprised me too, but I've caught it a couple of times this week uh, where I've noticed that, uh, you know, if it, if it does catch the line, you do see some white coming up. So, yeah, I don't know. Don't know what to tell you there, but uh, yeah, I have I've, I've noticed it a couple of times this week. Oh, well, Kath is not happy with that error there. You can see in the replay there, he's just shouting at himself. He's really not happy. And we do have the advantage here for Zepieri. Yeah, I remember, uh, well, against Molchan, Alex Molchan, I think it was in uh, Hamburg last week. It, that happened. He had a really tight first set eventually uh, came through it in the tie break and then steamrolled him in the second set. I honestly thought that was what was going to happen uh, against Musetti, but credit to Musetti there uh, coming through to win that title. But yeah, he does happen to an Alcaraz. But Zepieri does come through that game, save some break points, and uh, Zepieri is now a game away from this opening set. So Carlos Alcaraz with some work to do here. When the situation's hairy Players wanna scare me, never gonna dare me, Zippy Airy. So Carlos is going to come out and serve to stay in this opening set at 4-5 when we change ends. Slightly surprising here. And a lengthy match. Just an 
almost an hour on the clock here. This ATP semi-final at 250 in Umag. The second one against, uh, well, it'll be Yannick Sinner and uh, Franco Agamemnon will be playing not before 8 p.m. local time in the second semi-final later today. In at Atlanta, uh, the well, the first match of the day is the doubles match is uh, well and truly underway. It's all on serve four three there, so the uh, the first men's semi final will follow that one. Yeah, very good point here from Gary. Uh, you wonder how a player like Carlos or Iga will ever lose another match until they do, and yeah, it's uh, you know they kind of they look invincible, you know, <laughs> and like they can't be beaten, and then all of a sudden they they look pretty human. Um, it's, I mean, it's a credit, really, to how easy they make it look, to how well, you know, to put, I mean, put so much pressure on them, but to make us believe, you know, that they, how can they, you know, lose a match again? That It's a credit to them how well they're playing, and we, we've got to remember that they are just human, you know, they're, they're just tennis players, they are. Okay, they're incredible tennis players, but, you know, they, they can't win all the time, and it is, you know, it is jarring when you see it, but... That's tennis for you. That's why I love it. Love 15 here on the uh, on the serve of Carlos. <laughs> Jacob saying you place a random bet on Zapieri. You've never watched tennis. Well, it would be a, a ridiculously smart bet. I think if you did, I mean, Carlos Alcaraz would be the huge favorite to come through this match. So uh, if Zapieri does indeed win this one, I'd say you'd be in for a, a good win there. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose playing that many matches as well. When you do play, when you win that much, you've got to be playing a lot of matches and it does take its toll. So Alcaraz, love 15 here. Backhand cross court. Zepieri with the forehand on the stretch. Forehand from Alcaraz. Zepieri. Oh, what a cross court from Zepieri. Alcaraz digs it back out. Now Zepieri goes down the line. Backhand cross court from Alcaraz. Zepieri. Oh, great depth. Lands in from Alcaraz. Now he goes down the line again. The backhand slice from Zepieri. What a rally this is. Eventually with the forehand cross court winner from Carlos Alcaraz. That was an excellent rally and it's 15 all here. I've got a Carlos Alcaraz fan in. Well, he's a... Uh, well, he did have a break, the early break here, but it's back on serve now. But that was a great shot there from Alcaraz. Players with a attractive game styles like Iga Alcraft and Jabur forget we can sometimes they can sometimes have off days. Exactly, especially you know those players that are just so interesting to watch with their game styles. You know, of course they can have off days, and it's, it, it looks more jarring than you know those players who you know baseliners tend to play. You know, sort of more one tone games and don't have that variety. I suppose you would generally expect it less from them, um, but and it, it sort of it looks kind of kind of worse for those players then. They've got that flashy game style, you know, when when it doesn't pull off for them. But yeah, they can have off days. They're tennis players. They're going to. The winning streak was going to come to an end for Iga at some point. I mean, she made it to thirty-seven. That's pretty incredible. 13-30 here on the serve of Alcaraz. Two points from the set of Zepieri. Oh, it's a good serve. It's at the net, but it doesn't need to do anything with it because the return has gone into the net from Zepieri and it's 30 all. If you are watching along, please don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already and subscribe if you're new. Kiro saying Forza Zepieri. Oh, it's tight this first set. It really is. So many break points saved on both sides of the net. A break each as well. Oh, it's just wide. The Alcraft wants a second look at this serve. He's gone down the tee. But he seems... Well, he concedes the point there. He's happy enough that that was just wide. We'll get the replay here. It did look just wide there. It's very close, though. So a second serve here at 30 all. 4-5. Finds the second serve. The backhand return goes wide. And it is a game point, not a set point. Carlos Alcaraz has 40-30 here. 
Oh, that's a good win for Heather Watson. Good to see her winning again, Heather Watson. She had a, a pretty decent run at Wimbledon. Uh, made the, well, her first ever, I say pretty decent. I think that does an understatement, really. She made the first quarterfinal of a Grand Slam ever at Wimbledon this year at the age of 30. 30, I think she is now. But yeah, it's a good win for her. Glad to see her winning. Well, he can't close this game out just yet, can Arkadaf, as he goes into the net there, and it is juice. So is that Gary? He's eyeing this first set here. Pressure on the defending champion here. The top seed. Carlos Alcaraz finds a first serve. Now with the forehand plus one. Comes into the net. Does Alcaraz put the volley? Zepieri. Oh, and he goes into the net on the second volley. Does Alcaraz. And we have a set point here for... <laughs> Is it Julio? Is that his name? Have I forgotten his first name? It is Julio. So... <laughs> Yes, I could see G. Zepieri there, and uh, I had a bit of a moment where I thought I'd got his name wrong, but it is Giulio Zepieri, and he does have a set point here. This would be huge for the Italian qualifier against the world number five, the top seed, and the defending champion. Carlos has not found his best tennis yet. Can he save this set point here? Oh, it's a late call on the serve. I think Ar Alcaraz wants a second look at it. No, he's going to go for the second serve here. Pressure here. Finds the second serve. Forehand return. Forehand cross court from Alcaraz. Oh, it's a good forehand from Alcaraz to save the set point. We are at juice. It's five break points in total. He saved now, Alcaraz. Yeah, uh, unfortunate for Harmony Tan that she didn't get any uh, ranking points after that good run at Wimbledon. And Diane Parry as well had a, a pretty decent run. Got a nice one and backhand as Diane Parry eventually came undone to Angebeur. Finds the first serve to Zalkaraf. It's a good return. Oh, and the forehand down the line is just wide from Alcaraz. It is it's another set point here. Lots of pressure now here on Alcaraz. Again, just some uncharacteristic errors here. He's really not found his rhythm. <laughs> zero points and zero doubles, partner. Yeah, that uh, drama with Harmony Tan and uh, Core Patch as well. After she pulled out of the doubles to, well, with an injury, she said, but uh, was still in the singles. Yeah, that was a lot of drama. I don't think uh, there's any love lost between those two. So, set point. Second serve. Oh, big return. Oh, but an even bigger forehand from Alcaraz. <laughs> oh, he really took that return of serve on, did Zepieri there, but Al it came right back into the hit zone of Alcaraz, really. There's a lot of pace on it, but probably not quite the placement he was looking for. And Alcaraz with a big forehand of his own saves the set point, and we are back at deuce once again. He is a bit, to be honest. Uh, he, he again, like he's he's not finding his best tennis, but Zepieri is really hanging in there, and credit to him. I think Alcaraz just uh, is a, is a little bit lost at the moment. He's trying trying to figure him out. So, do you see her? Oh, it's another good return of serve. Now the backhand slice from Alcaraz. Zepieri goes back down that side. Now Alcaraz with the backhand down the line. Zepieri with the backhand on the middle of the court. The drop shot from Alcaraz. Can Zepieri get there? Yes, he can. Alcaraz takes the volley. Zepieri's at the net. We're having a volley off here. And eventually, oh, how does Carlos get that back in play? And he's still going, is Carlos. Oh my God, this rally is ridiculous. Eventually put away by Zepieri. How on Earth, did that rally go on for as long as it did? That was ridiculous. Carlos Alcaraz with an incredible get in the middle of that rally. Really did not think he was going to get that up. We'll see it again here. So we've got a drop shot from Alcaraz. Zepieri goes down the line. Alcaraz takes it on the volley. Zepieri follows it. Lobbed by Alcaraz. Volley by Zepieri. On the stretch, Alcaraz gets there. It's ridiculous. Eventually... Zepieri having to play a couple of volleys at the net eventually puts it away. 
What a rally, but it does bring up set point for Giulio Zeppiheri. So can Alka find a first serve here? No, he can't. It'll be a second serve on set point. Hey, David. Yeah, well, I'm not entirely sure what is going on, to be honest. Carlos was up the early break, um, but then Zepieri got it back, and he's just not found his best tennis as Alcaraz. Zepieri's really hanging in there. Oh, it's an excellent volley at the net from Carlos Alcaraz, and he saves another set point. And we're back at juice. That was brave from Alcaraz coming in there. On the stretch, that volley as well. Just short enough there that Zeppieri couldn't even try to run for it. Still not out of trouble yet, though, as we're still at juice. An hour and 11 minutes played, and we're not even 10 games in. Finds the first serve this time. Does Alcaraz? The return is long and a big bam horse from Carlos Alcaraz. <laughs> and he does have the advantage here. <laughs> Would it? Well, I feel as an honorary uh, Mancunian, I should probably be more of a football fan, but I actually, I do not watch football. Is that really bad? I'm more of a rugby girl myself, being from Wales. But, uh, well, I did actually. I was staying in the same hotel as the Man United team the other day, actually. It was pretty cool, although I didn't have a clue who any of them were. But, uh... <laughs> so, can Alcaraz convert, finally, to get us five games apiece? It's a good, deep return from Zepieri. Now, with a backhand from Alcaraz is into the net. And we're back at juice once again. Zepieri wants to take this set here on the serve of Alcaraz. You would think if Alcaraz can come through this service game, he'd probably take the set then. It would still be on serve, of course, but Zepieri's had quite a few chances in this game. Saved seven of eight break points as Alcaraz. That's a good serve. The return just lands Carlos's feet here on the baseline, but it gave him lots of time to hit the forehand, and it is advantage once again. Yeah, good point there, Todd. Well, as a as a Welsh fan, I uh, <laughs> probably shouldn't be uh, cheering for for England, but it's it's really conflicting actually because I'm watching the Commonwealth Games and all these people that I, I normally cheer for as part of Team GB are now playing for England and they're not on Team Wales and it's a really strange feeling but uh, yeah I will uh, I will be hopefully watching that Euro final tomorrow because uh, that should be really good um, between England and Germany so yeah even even though I'm not a big football fan if it's a big match like the women's Euro final or maybe if Wales are playing or something I will catch it but uh, in general I don't particularly follow football. Uh, Ankarath somehow gets through that game <laughs> it's five all they had saved many set points in that but uh credit to zeppieri there for really pushing alcaraz and yeah from john exactly zeppieri yeah, is impressive he's hanging in with the world number five here the defending champion the top seed but uh it's a good win for alcaraz that uh that game to come through so it is five games apiece this first set is still all to play for So Zeppieri serving pressure right back on the Italian. Hey, Beaches. Yeah, screaming the house down a little bit. Uh, well, on the, I'm screaming on the inside here, I think, uh, <laughs> with watching uh, this match. I was a Carlitos fan, anyway. Oh, and a dale from, uh, from Carlos as the ball goes long here from Zeppieri. It's love 15. Ricardo, and vamos Carlitos. Yeah, honestly, Todd, I don't think I could have. I've seen his name. I've seen the name Zepieri, at a, a, you know, on, on scoreboards and, you know, in draws and whatever. But I don't actually ever think I've seen him play a full match. You know, I've seen bits and pieces of him this week. But prior to this week, I don't think I had. 
Oh, Carlos Alcaraz maybe making a move here at love 30. We'll get a replay of this. Zeb Pieri with the drop shot, but it was it had just too much air on it there. And that ball down the line from Alcaraz couldn't have been placed any better. Oh, good first serve. Good return from Carlos. Oh, and it's long from Zepieri, and we've got three break points here for Alcaraz. Oh, you felt this coming, didn't you? As soon as Alcaraz came through that really tough service game. So Zepieri trying to get himself fired up here, but it is three break points for Carlos Alcaraz to try and serve this opening set. Zepieri. Oh, is that an ace? I don't think either player is entirely sure, actually. The umpire is coming down. Carlos is convinced this is... Oh, no, he's he's rubbed the mark out. Carlos has conceded the point. Fair play to him there. It was an ace. Still two more break points. It is love... 15-40, uh, excuse me. Ah, yeah, you can see on the replay there, it did uh, catch the sidelines. That was an excellent serve out wide there for Zepieri. And it's another ace. From love, 40. Two aces gets him back to 30-40, Zepieri. Oh, indeed, you can expect the huge vamos from Carlos if he breaks here. You know, we were chatting earlier that uh, you think if Carlos does come through this first tight first set, you'll run away with the second. But let's see. Thought that might have happened with him in uh, against Musetti, but uh, generally it does tend to happen with him, Carlos. Does still have a break point here. Second serve, Zepieri. Good deep return from Carlos. The drop shot, drop shot, excuse me, from Zepieri. And Carlos puts it away. And indeed, we get the big vamos and the fist pump to go with it. Because Carlos Alcaraz has broken Zepieri. And he will serve for this opening set after the change of ends at six games to five. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Todd. Uh, apologies for distracting you, but it's a, it's a good match this one. To be honest, I thought it would be a, a pretty straightforward win for Carlos, but it's a good one, this. He will serve this opening set, though, will Carlos. He was up a break. Gave it back to Zepieri, really, with a couple of double faults. But you just felt that was happening. You really did. As soon as he came through that really tough game at 5 all, Carlos... And you would think if he does take this 7-5 or even 7-6, probably run away with a second set. But I have to say credit to Zepieri here because he's putting up a really good fight against the top seed. Be an Italian to watch, maybe. I'm just going to see how uh, how old Zepieri is. I mentioned he's 168 in the world. He is just 20. Just 20 is uh, Zepieri. So could be good things on the horizon. Lots of good young Italians coming through. Same for Franco Agamemnone, 136 in the world. He's well, he's uh, he's 29, but uh, he's been uh, having a very good week himself. Yeah, he'll play Yannick Sinner after this one. So Alcaraz serving here at six five for this opening set. It's taken us a while to get here, but we are. Almost at the end of this first set. Second serve here, though. That goes into the net. Yeah, maybe. Might seem at the next gen finals. That's where, uh, that's where I first took notice of Yannick Sinner, actually, when he won that quite a few years ago now. Uh, return of serve goes long here from Zepieri. 15 love. Three points away from this opening set. You always see uh, a couple of Italians in the next gen finals. It's pretty much a given, isn't it? Alcaraz, 15, love. Second serve. Just checking the play over in Atlanta. They're still playing the doubles there, so I'll let you know as soon as the single semifinals do start over there in Atlanta. So, Carlos Alcaraz, 15, love. With a back end on the line here from Zepieri. Alcaraz is into the net, 15, all. 
Yes, Francisco Serundolo as well, another up and comer, won his uh, first title the other week and then made the semi finals uh, in Hamburg as well, lost to Alcaraz eventually. Was it Alcaraz? No, it was Mosetti he lost to eventually, wasn't it? Uh, Serundolo. Uh, but Serundolo, he cracked the top 30 with that. Oh, yeah, and Jean just said he's uh, actually number 24. Yeah, he's a very exciting player to watch, is Serundolo. It's a good surf here from Alcaraz. The return goes wide from Zepieri. It's 30 15, two points away from the opening set now. Yeah, the uh, well, there's two Serundolo brothers, Francisco, the, the the better ranked. Both have one title to their name, Juan Manuel as well. The uh, the older older brother? No, I think Juan Manuel's the younger brother. So I'll grab the thirty fifteen here. Oh, it's a big forehand cross court from Carlos Alcaraz, and he does have two set points here at forty fifteen. So eventually, we have a set point for Alcaraz. Zepieri's yeah, had a couple of his own, but now Carlos has two on his own serve. This is more like it it's from Carlos. That big forehand. Can he close this one out here? Big serve down the tee. Back and return from Zepieri. Down the line goes Carlos. Backhand from Zepieri is long. And eventually, after an hour and 22 minutes... The first set is in the pocket of Carlos Alcaraz. He takes it seven games to five, but that was not a done deal for him. He had to work really hard for that. Credit to Zepieri, but it is the first set for Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. So we got there eventually, did Carlos, and let's see if he does uh, does run away with a second set. I think he might. But, I mean, if Zepieri plays like he did in that first set, then you never know. And I just said there, we've got a toilet break here. I think, uh, I'm not sure if just one or both the players have gone off the court, but uh, we've got some music here to try and entertain the crowd. But yeah, Gary, honestly, I, I don't think you are. I don't think a lot of people, I mean, like I said, I'd heard of him. I'd, I'd seen his name in draws, but I hadn't really seen much of him at all. And uh, I love this, Todd. Tennis is a powerful addiction. It really is. I mean, it, it consumes your life, tennis, if you're a tennis fan, because there's always tennis on. There's never not tennis on. I mean, there's about two weeks in the year, there's no tennis. It's ridiculous. Trying to explain to my partner who wasn't, a t well, I still don't think she is a tennis fan, but uh, she's having to become one that, you know, doesn't quite realize that there's always tennis on. She's like, you're still watching tennis? Yep. It does not stop. So Zepieri will serve to open the second set. As Carlos took that on his own serve. Yeah, I like this from Gary. Carlos plays at least one wow shot in every game. He really does. I mean, that's why he's so, I think, so exciting. Is he, he consistently comes up with these really incredible shots as well. It's not just sort of a one-hit wonder. It's a couple of them, you know. He he really does. And yeah, Todd, it's a three, three out of four Italians. Two of them qualifiers. But then we've got Yannick Sinner as well as the other one. So Car Carlos, the only uh, non-Italian here. Could be an Alcaraz Sinner final, which could be very exciting. A rematch of that Wimbledon quarter final that Sinner won. Two of my favorite players on the uh, on the men's side are Alcaraz and Sinner. So it should be a really good one. But, I mean, to be fair, Zepieri is playing an excellent match here. I know he's dropped the first set, but credit to him. Hey, Joe. No worries. Thanks for joining us anyway. Hope you are all enjoying. If you are, hit the like button. Please don't forget. And yet, yeah, listen to Streamlabs. Please <laughs> hit the like button. Uh, and uh, thanks for joining. Subscribe if you're new as well. I know uh, we haven't well we haven't brought you many matches this week uh, for these two fifties. Uh, been quite busy, but within the next sort of couple of weeks or so, we'll be back to bringing you loads of matches for this U.S. Open swing, and of course with a big coverage of the Grand Slams as well and the Masters One Thousands. 
<laughs> there's literally a song every time anybody breaks to be honest uh, i have a zeppieri song as well um but carlos carlitos does does do a lot of uh breaking and um, pretty good things but uh we, we have a song when uh, anybody does something pretty good <laughs> So it is Zepieri who's gone off the court because Carlos is, uh, is just, he's standing here swinging his racket a little bit, just waiting for him to come back. Yeah, Carlitos can't get enough of the Italians. Yeah, probably the, the one nation that seemed to get him a little bit unstuck, most recently against Musetti. In that ATP 500 in Hamburg. I don't think he did play any other... Italians in this tournament did Carlitos. I'm just going to look through the draw again. See Bagnus of Argentina in the uh, quarterfinals, then Gombos of Slovakia in the round of 16. So yeah, no no Italians in this tournament anyway for uh, Alcaraz until now. So Zepieri is back on the court. He will serve to open up this second set. I didn't actually see that uh, from Nori. Seeing so he'll make as many sacrifices as possible to become number one. Damn, <laughs> big words from Cam Nori. Yeah, he does. I think one of, well, one of his parents is Welsh. I think it's his mother. Yeah. So second serve here for Zepieri to open up the second set. I love a I love a freshly swept clay court. Big forehand from Alcaraz here. Backhand is into the net from Zepieri. It's love fifteen. So, first point in the second set goes to Alcaraz. You do just wonder, is he going to run away with this? Let's see if Zepieri can hold on here. Love, 15. Oh, that's a good serve there from Zepieri. Manages to get a racket on it, does Alcaraz, but it is wide, 15 all. Yes, everybody, listen to Gary, please, even if you don't listen to me, which, to be fair, you know, I wouldn't blame you. But listen to Gary. <laughs> We're at 84. Please hit the like button if you are watching along. Let's really try to get to 100 if we can by the end of the stream. It really does help us out, honestly. I bang on about it all the time. I know we all do, but it's because it really helps. 15 all here. Oh, just out there on the serve from Zepier. He look, takes a look down the court, but isn't going to challenge it. <laughs> Hashtag road to 100. Exactly. Let's get there. Come on. Oh, backhand goes into the net from Zepieri. There, it's 15.30. Alcaraz is on the pounce here. He's looking for that break, isn't he? 88 likes. Go on, we're getting there. Thank you, everybody who has hit that like button. 15.30 here. Gets the first serve, the forehand return. Now the forehand from Zepieri. Carlos down the middle of the court. Now goes to the backhand cross court. Forehand cross court from Zepieri. Now the drop shot from Carlos Zepieri gets there, but it is wide and it is two break points here for Carlos Alcaraz to open up this second set. It's 15-40. Oh, Jean, you're very kind. I'm probably, probably just trying to be nice to me there because I don't, don't know if many people do, but uh, <laughs> thanks if you are listening to me. I appreciate it. I love talking about tennis, so um, I hope at least some of you are enjoying listening listening to it. It's a good first serve there from Zepieri. Long on the return from Alcaraz. One break point saved, but he's still got another one. It's 30-40. It's a good serve. Right on the line there. Can he save another break point here, Zepieri? Oh, it's an ace down the tee to save the break point. I don't, he's done that a couple of times, actually. Aced himself, out of trouble. That's his... Uh, how many aces is that now? Well, the, the scoreboard says four, but my uh, my screen has just said that's his ninth. I have, haven't I, David? Yeah, the past couple of Alcaraz matches I've done have been cra crazy. I mean, the Alcaraz Musetti match, like the Alcaraz Sinner match. I mean, he's got some great... I've covered quite a good few really good matches from Hakarat here. And it's another ace. Oh, sorry, it wasn't nine aces. It was five. I can't... God, I need, I need glasses, maybe. Because it just said he's just hit a six ace there, Zepieri. 
So yeah, the scoreboard is still wrong, but uh, it's a six ace for Zipieri to bring up the advantage here. Oh, it's another good serve. The return is in play this time. Oh, and the plus one goes into the net from Zepieri. So we're back at deuce here. So still looking for that break is Akarath. Can he ace himself out of trouble again, Zepieri? Finds another big first serve. And it's a good plus one. Gets Carlos going the wrong way. Goes back into that open court with the forehand. And it's advantage Zepieri. This will be a good game for him to get through. His first serve percentage in the first set wasn't great. Like, like I said, that first serve percentage just says there is 98%. That is absolutely not true. Sorry, Zepieri, but it's not because... Uh, he couldn't quite find his first serve in that first set. But he's just aced himself again out of trouble. How many aces in that game? That's his seventh ace of the match, is it, Bieri? And he does hold on for one game to love. When the situation's hairy, players want to scare me. Never gonna dare me, Zipieri. So Algarve well, had his chances in that game, but is serving at love one. Oh, what a return of serve from Zepieri. It's love 15. The crowd love that one. Very good return of serve. Very deep to that baseline. Wasn't a bad serve either from Carlos, but just took that back and on the rise. We're closing in on 100 likes. Go on, whack that like button if you haven't already. Do me a favor. Yeah, on, on the way to 50,000 subscribers as well. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Oh, a big forehand cross court from Alcarath. Zepieri gets it back. Now the backhand from Alcarath. Zepieri with the forehand. Oh, it's just in there. The forehand from Alcarath. Zepieri. Oh, it's a wild shot there from the Italian 15 all. <laughs> Sam, yes, I am indeed. I'm back. <laughs> That's uh, it's going to be a well f busy couple of weeks for me uh, work wise, but I, in a few weeks I will be back for GTL very consistently. I'm hoping for well, at least for the the Masters before the US Open and the US Open I'll be back to to be able to do my matches on a full schedule again. So 15 all here for Alcaraz. Also oh, good forehand there right into the back line 30-15. You could do with a nice, easy service hold here from uh, for Alcaraz. But yeah, that forehand was a beauty. 30-15. Putting up a good fight here is Zepieri. Qualifier. Two qualifiers in the semifinals. Both Italian as well. Finds the first serve. The return is wide. It's 40-15. So it could be a easy service hold here for Alcaraz. Although the last time I said that, he, from 40 love up, he then uh, got back to juice. So I hope I haven't jinxed him. But it is 40-15 here for Carlos. To get his first game of the second set on the board. Finds the first serve. Return goes into the net from Zepieri. And Carlos does indeed get the first game of his own on the board in the second set. It is one game apiece. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos. I've missed that button. I've been singing it this week, actually. So it's good to have it back again. <laughs> Uh, someone else watching the Commonwealth Games, yeah, I was chatting about it earlier, actually, as well, yeah, and it's it's good, isn't it, so far? I mean, I'm enjoying it. Uh, good to see, uh, well, like I said, Wales competing as a nation. It's just a shame there's no tennis in the Commonwealth Games, really, but yeah, if, uh, if anybody hasn't caught it yet, and if you are able to view it, give the Commonwealth Games a, ch uh, a check out, because uh, yeah, it's pretty good. 
lots of sports on offer. Not quite as many as the Olympics, of course, but uh, lots of action. They're held in Birmingham this year. So where I did my undergraduate degree at Birmingham. It's good to see uh, some of my old haunts on the TV again. Second serve here for Zeppieri at 15, love. It's a good second serve. The back and return from Alcaraz. Now down the line goes Zeppieri. Forehand from Alcaraz. Zeppieri, oh, finding the line again. That's a really good shot from the Italian. It's 30, love. Oh, we are five likes away. Go on, let's get to 100. We can definitely get to 100 by the end of this. 95. Thank you, everybody who has hit that like button already. 30 love here for Zeppieri. Oh, that was just out there. The serve, second serve here. He really picked up his service game as Zeppieri. Finds a good second serve again. Backhand return. Another forehand from Zeppieri. Backhand from Alcaraz. Now he goes cross court. Zeppieri with a forehand on the stretch. The drop shot from Alcaraz. It's not a good drop shot attempt there from Carlitos. Nowhere near the net. And it is 40 love for Zeppieri. This would be our first game to love of the match. I guess that's unsurprising seeing as we're already over an hour and a half and just, just over a set played. But Zeppietti with a chance for the first game to love of the match. Oh, thought that was an ace down the tee there, but uh, was just called out. Welcome, David. Uh, it's always nice to have uh, new people to the channel. And uh, we actually have one, one of our hosts, Ben. He he creates the buttons. <laughs> We've got a button for a lot of players. And uh, yeah, I, I particularly love the Alcaraz button. But yeah, it's Ben who creates them. Uh, yeah, but welcome to the channel. If you're, if you're enjoying it, hit the like button and subscribe as well. And it is a game to love for Zeppieri, the first one of the match. He leads 2-1 in the second set. When the situation's hairy, players want to scare me, never gonna dare me, Zeppieri. So all on serve in this second set. It was a, a very tight first set. Carlos got the first break, but uh, Zeppieri got it right back eventually in the end. Carlos getting over the line for 7-5. Uh, I thought he might run away with a second set, but let's see how it turns out. All on serve. Just the first uh, men's semi-final here in Umag. The second will take place after this one. It says uh, not before 8 p.m. local time, but I'm pretty sure it's definitely going to be after that. There'll be a doubles final played after that one as well. Two Italians in that final as well. You've got Bolelli and Fonini playing Glasspool and Heliobara. <laughs> yes, listen to Gary, everybody. Three likes needed to get to 100. Go on. If you are watching, please hit the like button. So Alcada serving at 1-2. Gets the first serve here. The back and return from Zeppieri. Now into the open court goes Alcada. It's lobbed up by Zeppieri, but it is wide. And it's 15 love here. Good start for Alcada. Oh, we're one like away. We are one like away from 100. Thank you, everybody, if you have hit that like button. Alcaraz, 15, love. Second serve here. Hey, to you. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for joining me. Thanks, everybody, for joining me, but I uh, hope you're doing well. It's nice to see you all again on the stream. It's been a while. It's been a week, but uh, I am back. Oh, what's a shot from Alcaraz. Zeppieri somehow gets it back, but Alcaraz tries to put it away on the volley, but Zeppieri gets it back again. We're still going on here. Zeppieri is playing. Oh, he's just got into the net there, Zeppieri. It's 30 love here for Alcaraz. Oh, thank you very much. We have the 100th liker. So we 
and play the 100 likes button. Thank you, everybody. Dirty love here for Alcara. That's a good first serve. Return is long from Zepieri. 40 love here. Well, could we have back to back 40 love, uh, games to love here? We hadn't had any in the first set. Both players working pretty hard on their serves in that first set. So I could have that 40 love here. Oh, it's a wild first serve there, second serve. I we were chatting about this earlier, actually. Yeah, the Sriontek loss against Garcia. I mean, Garcia played very, very well. I mean, it was a big shock losing, you know, on clay and at home as well, Sriontek. But, uh, I mean, credit to Garcia. Uh, yeah, bit of a shock. But again, you, we know how dangerous Garcia can be when she's playing at her best. So she will be in the final tomorrow, Garcia. And that's a heck of a return of serve from Zepieri. We're 40 15 now. <laughs> Hashtag rogue to 150 next. Go on, let's get to 150. Oh, it's a good serve down the tee from Alcaraz. That's an ace. And it is a pretty quick service hold for him. Not seen many of those in this match. That's his first ace of the match, actually. That is surprising, but it is two games apiece. So Carlitos Alcaraz stays in touch. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos. Zapieri serving at two all. I'll get a second serve here. Question from who does Garcia play in the final? She's playing Anna Bogdan. Uh, of Romania, who's into her first WTA final at the age of 29. So it will be a Garcia Bogdan final in Warsaw. That's an excellent uh, one two punch from Zepieri. It's 15 love. So Alcadeth hasn't run away with the second set like I think a lot of us thought he might. Zepieri, 15 love. Oh, it's, oh, I was going to say that's an excellent serve, but it just just wide, I think, or maybe maybe long. Second serve. Oh, it's a loopy return from Alcaraz. Taken on the rise by Zepieri. That's an excellent forehand from the lefty. It's 30 love. Why, thank you, Gary. <laughs> I'm glad you're uh, taking, taking note of these statistics because I actually haven't I realized that, but that is... Very good to know. Thank you, everybody, for liking that. Yeah, appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying my streams. I enjoy talking about tennis. I don't know if you uh, if you like listening to what I've got to say, but you seemingly do, so excellent. <laughs> I'll carry on. Second serve here for Zepieri. Let's try to get to 150 if we can. Oh, big. Oh, I was going to say he goes big for the return, but he whacks it into the net. This card losses 40 love. Yeah, quality tennis again today. Indeed. It has been a good day of tennis. No problem, Peaches. Well, uh, I'll catch you back in a few. Tapieri at 40 love. Second serve. Second serve Zepieri. Forehand return from Alcaraz. Now the backhand from Zepieri. Cross court backhand from Alcaraz. Zepieri is into the net. 40 15. As I mentioned before, Carlos is looking to defend this title, looking to defend the title for the first time. It's the first title he won last year as an 18 year old. Looking for his fifth title of the year. Good first serve. Chip turn from uh, Alcaraz. He's at the net now, Zepieri, for the volley. Oh, doesn't clear the net with that volley. 
40, love becomes 40, 30. I think, Car is Carlos okay here? I'm just, we're just going to get a, a re replay here because he runs for it. I think he caught his ankle. Oh, he did. Oh, he just caught his ankle. Did Carlos on the clay? That looked nasty, actually. I hope he's okay. Uh, he's he's just gone back. He's changed his racket as Alcarath, but I think he just. Oh gosh, he's limping here as Alcarath. That is not good. Oh, he's sitting down, and uh, physio has been called to the court. That looked pretty nasty, actually. So Zeppi had hit a drop shot. Alcarath was running to try to get it, and he, his ankle just caught in the clay, and it really twisted. And that's really unfortunate for Carlitos here. I'll try to keep you updated. Um, they're just having a chat here with the umpire and Mazepieri as well as the physio comes onto the court. But yeah, it did look quite nasty for him. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna re replay it again here, but uh, let me see. Which ankle was it? Yeah, that right ankle. Oh, yeah. Really twists over on it, and he, he kind of doubles over at the net there. So the physio is here on the court. He's having a look at the ankle of Carlos Alcaraz. Hopefully, he's going to be okay. Hopefully, it's just one of those things that, you know, really hurts like hell when it happens. But it, well, I mean, we did see that really terrible ankle injury from uh, Zverev at Roland Garros. Let's, let's hope it's, uh, it's not a bad one here for Alcaraz. Yeah, you immediately pulled up out of it. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep you updated and let you know what's going on here. But the uh, the physio is uh, just out and look at it here. I think he's going to tape it up. It looks like, yeah, he's going to tape up the ankle of Carlos. So a medical timeout has now been called. Hopefully he is okay. It's, always, it's, it's horrible to see a... Uh, See any injury like this? Oh, Goran Ivanovic is uh, is in the crowd. Well, the, the stadium is named after him, I suppose. Uh, question: Who was injured? It's Carlos Alcaraz. Uh, on the uh, previous point, he was running for a drop shot and caught his ankle on the clay, twisted it pretty badly by the looks of it on the replay. Um, so he's getting it taped up now by the physio. Hopefully, he'll be good to go to play again. So, we've got Zepieri just to try and keep himself warm at the back of the court there, bouncing up and down. It's, it's getting taped up quite heavily, actually, here, uh, uh, that ankle. So yeah, well, uh, well, I'll run you through the rest of the matches. So, as I mentioned, the second semi-final will be played after this one between uh, Franco Agamen and the other Italian qualifier, and Yannick Sinner, the second seed. So I'll follow this one. Uh, in Atlanta, well, the doubles match is just about uh, to wrap up, I think. So the uh, first men's semi-final that will be played after that one. We've got Ivashka and Deminor first, then Tiafo and Brooksby. We just talked about the women's finals. Uh, we've got uh, Garcia and Bogdan playing in the final of Warsaw tomorrow. And Potapova and Boskova playing in the final of Prague. And we already saw, uh, we had a winner today. We had uh, Roberto Bautista Agut winning his 11th title in Kitchbühel against the uh, the home favourite, uh, well, not Dominic team, but uh, Philip uh, Mizolic. But uh, yeah, it was a, a good win there for Bautista. Got 6 2 6 2. Yeah, I don't think they've uh, they've put any ice on it, but they they have taped it up pretty heavily. So uh, uh, Zeppi here is just uh, hitting a few balls. Still in a medical timeout. So Alcaraz, he's, well, he seems to have uh, he's putting his shoes and socks back on, so he should be. Okay, to go. It is 40 30 on the serve of Zepieri at two games apiece. 
if Alcaraz can't play, then uh, yeah, then Zeppieri would win. So if if Carlos had to pull out, then uh, it it would be Zeppieri, his opponent in this match. He would go through to the final. The winner of this will be into the final, semi final this here in Umag. Kenny has Carlos winning the set. We take the first, but uh, let's hope this ankle hasn't bothered him too much. So we are back in play. Medical timeout is over. Zeppieri is serving at 40 30. Back and return from Carlos goes long. So Zeppieri does get through that game. And it is three games to two. Wow, tossing. Last time my ankle collapsed like that, it was 60 days off the court. Six, wow, that's a pretty long time. Jeez. Well, hopefully he's okay. I really do, because ankle injuries can be really nasty. I mean, we all saw at Roland Garros what happened with Zverev. But, uh, yeah, let's wish him well. And uh, hopefully he can come back after this change of ends now and uh, be okay. He'll serve at 2-3. But Zeppieri came through that one. So I will I will play the Zeppieri button for him. Uh, well, maybe it's a bit harsh. But, uh, yeah, go on. Let's play the Zeppieri button. <laughs> Situations hairy. Players wanna scare me. Never gonna dare me. Zippy. So let's see if uh, Carlos is okay. Well, he's, he's he's got up out of his chair and he's uh he's jogging to the baseline there. So I think he's okay. Fingers crossed. So we're still on serve in the second set. Pretty tight first set. Eventually won by Carlos seven five. He will serve here. So I, I guess we'll uh, we'll get a better idea now how that ankle is with Carlos serving. If you are watching along, please don't forget to hit the like button. We've hit 100, which is brilliant. Let's try to get to 150 now if we can. Second serve here for Carlos. I'm just trying to see if he's maybe pushing up off that ankle well enough. Seems to be okay. Second serve. Return from Zepieri just on the baseline. It goes into the net from Alcaraz. It's a love 15. PC asking, how's the ankle? Yeah, not entirely sure. I mean, he... Hard to tell after that point, to be honest, because uh, it was a pretty short one. I'll uh, I'll have a, a check and see how he is uh, maybe during a longer rally. Let's see how he pushes up on this on the serve. Finds the first serve. Oh, just clips the net. There's a Zepieri. Now he's come into the net as Alcaraz. Oh, can Zepieri get that? He can. Oh, Alcaraz now has to run back for it. Oh, what? How did Zepieri win that point? That was ridiculous. And it is love 30 here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if Carlos... I mean, he, he, he came into the net with, uh, of his own accord, Carlos, and he did some pretty good running as well to try to get back to that ball. So I think he's okay. Hey, Joe. Yeah, so, um, well, in the previous game, Zepieri hit a drop shot. Akrath ran for it and twisted his ankle. Had a medical timeout. He's had it strapped up. So hopefully he's okay. But uh, yeah, it looked, yeah, like PC says, it looked pretty bad. The, uh, it was a pretty nasty turn of his ankle there. Eh? But um, he seems to be moving okay in this game. 15.30. Let's hope he's all right. So Akrath, 15.30 here. That's a good serve down the tee. Zippy Eddie gets it on the stretch. Now the forehand cross court. Alcaraz is at the net now with the backhand volley. And it's too good for Zippy Eddie. It's 30 all. And a fist pump from Alcaraz. Well, that was uh, that was optimistic for his movement there because uh, he did some good running again coming into the net. And I think the ankle seems to be okay. <laughs> he had a jumping backhand volley there as well, did Alcaraz, to put it away. So I think I think he's all right. So from love 30 to 30 all. 
Oh, it's a good serve. It's an ace from Alcaraz. It's 40-30. Zepieri just going up to the line to have a look at it, but uh, rubs it out with his foot. Second ace of the match for Carlos. A kick on that serve. So a point here to get us at three games apiece. Another good first serve. It's another ace from Carlos. It's his third ace of the match. Two back to back. And it is three games apiece. That is a much better game from Carlos. And it's looking good here for that ankle as well. Vamos, Carlos Alcalas. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcalas. Vamos. So Zapieri is serving here at three games apiece. Oh, it's a great serve down the tee from the Italian. 15, love. Looking for his first ATP tour final, is Zepieri. I'll look out for his second in a row. Fifth title this year as well. Oh, it's great length here from Zepieri. It's long from Alcaraz, 30 love. Well, he really is hanging in here, Zepieri. Got a lot of crowd support as well with its proximity to Italy. Thirty love Zepieri. Oh, that's a great serve. It's a good return as well from Alcaraz. Now we're back and on the stretch, but it's into the net from Alcaraz. It's forty love. Oh, the nice easy service hold here for Zepieri. We're doing the world of good. No breaks yet in this second set. So I'm serving at 40 love. Can it be a game to love here? What's it? Was it in that serve? Yes, it was, because we're playing on here. Oh, what a forehand from Alcaraz on the stretch. That was impressive. It's 40-15 and a fist bump here from Alcaraz. What a forehand. We'll get a replay of it here. It was a good serve. Gets the back and return on the stretch. Zepieri goes to the forehand in the open court, but somehow on the run, Carlos flicks a forehand down the line. 40-15. And a second serve here for Zepieri. That one uh, clips the top of the net and goes long. Second serve, 400 turn from Alcaraz. Was that in? Was that? That was it. <laughs> How did he do that? How did he hit a clean winner off the return of serve? The angle on that was crazy. Let's see this again. That forehand. Wow. <laughs> what a shot on the return from Alcaraz. A clean return winner. And uh, from 40 love becomes 40 30. Crowd here. Making some noise. Epiari's ready to serve, though. Oh, a second serve here as well. Under pressure, maybe a little here now from 40 love. A couple of magic shots from Alcaraz. Let's put him back in contention here. Good back and return of serve here. Down the line he goes now. Zepieri cross court. Forehand from Alcaraz. Zepieri goes back and down the line. Was that in? Oh, Carlos Alcaraz gets it back though. But Zepieri finally puts it away at the net with the volley. And he does indeed hold serve. It is four games to three. So that was a really good hold. Well, from 40 love. Almost got back to juice. But a good hold there for Zepieri. 4-3. When the situation's hairy. Players want to scare me, never going to dare me, Zippieri. So he is ahead in this second set, Zepieri, at four games to three. It's really weird music here playing at the change of ends. Trying to figure out what this is. So Grass will come out and serve. 
I think uh, the doubles match in Atlanta has finished. It has. So that uh, semi, that first semi final should be underway. Uh, trying to think. Oh, no, but wait, it says not before 3 p.m. that semi final. I'm trying to do the, uh, the, the time difference in my head. So I think that's. I think it's a couple hours away, actually. So I was wrong there, but the, that that first uh, that doubles uh, match in Atlanta has been played anyway. That semi final, so the next two the two men's semi finals will be played. So Alcaraz seemingly his ankle is okay because he's moving pretty well. We'll serve at three four here. Don't forget to hit the like button if you are watching along. Let's get to one fifty if we can. Alcaraz, 3-4. Good first serve. Back and return from Zepieri down the middle of the court. Alcaraz runs around for the forehand here. Zepieri with the backhand cross court. Volleyed by Alcaraz. Zepieri's at the net. All oh, goes into the net with the backhand. And it's 15, love. Yeah, Todd's saying you'd have to give the edge to Sinner. Yeah, if Sinner were to come through his, uh, his semi-final match, you would have to get... I probably, yeah, you would give him the edge in that final, even if it was against Carlos. Uh, I think Sinner would have the edge there. Carlos just not quite finding it in this match. Yeah, the Italian curse is real. It really is for him this year. Come on, undone to the Italians is Carlos. He is a set to the good here, though. Uh, that serve was just long. So, second serve here for Alcaraz. Oh, we have a new member. Luis, welcome. Thank you for joining. You are very welcome to the GTR family. And it's 30 love here for Alcaraz. This is more like it. Always love to see new members joining. Thank you very much, everybody who has joined as a member. And you are very, very welcome. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Megan, one of your commentators here for GTR. Dirty love here for Carlos. That's a good serve. Return is long from Zepieri. It's 40 love. This is just what he needs here. If he can go to game to love, put the pressure right back on Zepieri. Yeah, good match. It is. I really thought it would be uh, pretty straightforward for Alcaraz, but Zepieri's made this an excellent match. Very tight first set and a tight second one as well. 40 love here for Carlos, though, to get us... At four games all in this second set. Thanks to everyone who has liked the video. Go on, let's try to get to 150 if we can before the end of this one. Second serve, forehand return. Ooh, was that in? No, it was just wide from Zepieri. So it is a game to love for Carlos Alcaraz. I think that's his first game to love, and it is four games apiece. <laughs> So things couldn't be tighter right now. Four games apiece. This is going to put one player one game away from either the set or the match. Let's see. Zepieri playing quite quickly, actually, between uh, points and games. Second serve here. Yeah, Todd's saying, not seeing this live, but it doesn't seem like the ankle's an issue. I, I don't think it is. It, it was a, a little... Stepping a little gingerly the first couple of points maybe after it, but not not anything too concerning, I think. And now it doesn't seem to be a problem at all. He's he's coming into the net, he's hitting drop shots, he's he's running back for it. I don't think it's a it's an ongoing problem. I think it was just one of those things that's like that hurts like hell in the moment. Um, and then it doesn't seem to be causing him too much trouble now. And he does win the first point on the serve of Zepieri here. It's a good backhand volley at the net from Alcaraz. It's too short, and Zepieri can't get to it. Love 15. Oh, it's a great swinging lefty serve from Zepieri to get the 15 all, though. Return goes into the net from Alcaraz. It's a good serve. Oh, prediction that Alcaraz will take it. Yeah, you'd still have to back him because, I mean, he is the top seed here, world number five, and he has got one set in the bag already. But this second set could go either way. Let's see if Zepieri can hold on here. It's a good first serve. Uh, return is long from Alcaraz, 
Got a lot of crowd support. Has Zepieri. This 250 in Umag. The first semi final of the day here. And that first serve goes into the net, so it'll be a second. Oh, just in, that's a deep second serve, and the return was really deep from Alcadaf as well. Another drop shot from the Spaniard is a good one. It's 30 all. That's good from Carlos there. It was a good second serve deep in the box there, but uh, the return from Carlos came right at the shoelaces of Zepieri, and then the forehand drop shot from Carlos was too good. 30 all. Yeah, he just... The Italians uh, seem to be Carlos's Achilles heel. Oh, you can intend the pun. I love a good pun. <laughs> oh, it's long on the return from Alcaraz and a big bam horse from Zeppieri this time. It's 40-30. Thank you very much, Gustav. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying. If you are, hit the like button and subscribe as well. Alcaraz here, bouncing up and down. He wants the break here. He wants to serve for this one. Oh, just out that serve down the tee. Zepieri, 40-30, second serve. Back and return from Alcaraz. Forehand from Zepieri. Alcaraz, the back and on the stretch is long. Zepieri does hold on. It is five games to four. And now, just like it was in the first set, Zepieri is a game away from taking the second set. <laughs> Situations hairy, players want to scare me, never gonna dare me, Zippy A really lengthy match, this one, over two hours on the clock now and still haven't finished two sets of tennis. But uh, Carlos Alcaraz will be the one serving to try and stay in this second set at 4-5. He got to this point in the first set and Zepieri actually had a couple of set points on the serve of Alcaraz. Alcaraz managed to save them for 5 all, and then eventually took it 7-5. Let's see if he can do the same thing again here, maybe. But a very tight match here, a lot tighter than I think most of us expected. Top seed versus the qualifier. And Carlos Acre is up and running to the baseline. We haven't even, uh, hasn't even been called time yet, but uh, he is ready to go. Peach is asking, where am I streaming from? So uh, I'm currently in Manchester in the UK. So I'm, I'm from Wales, but I live in Manchester at the moment. So that is where I am streaming from. And the umpire calls time. So Carlos Acre is ready to serve at 4-5. Can he hold on here like he did in the first set? Good first serve. Back and return from Zepieri. Cross court back and from Alcaraz. Zepieri with the slice. Alcaraz goes down the line. Now comes to the net for the volley. It's a good volley from Alcaraz. It's 15 love. Yeah, that, I don't think that ankle is troubling him at all. His movement seems to be very good, especially in that point there. Big forehand and then eventually puts it away with the volley at the net. And a shake of the racket. 15 love, Alcaraz. It's a good serve down the tee. It's looped up by Zepieri. Oh, he takes it out of the air, does Alcaraz, and he pushes it wide. No, he doesn't. Oh, he's hit the line. Oh, I, I apologize to Alcaraz there. I thought he'd gone wide there, but he just cleaned the line with that volley. That's uh, We'll get a replay of that here. And we did as well. That's a good start there. 30 love, Alcaraz. Gets the first serve. Oh, the return just clips the net. But it's in. Now we play on. Cro oh, it's a big cross-court forehand from Zepieri. It's 30-15. That was good from the Italian. Uh, well, Alcaraz has hit a few of those cross-court forehand winners in this match. But there's one from Zepieri. Ran right around it and took it on the bounce. 
So 3015. Can you get the first serve here? Nope, it's into the net. I <laughs> love this comment. It's a bizarre comment, but I think Alcraft would look better with longer hair. Hmm, what do you guys think? I, I'm trying to picture it. I'm having a hard time picturing it, actually. <laughs> oh, it's a double fault from Alcaraz. That's his fourth double fault of the match. I know the uh, the scoreboard here says he's, he's hit two, but that is his fourth um, from 30 Love. It's 30 all. And this is looking a lot like the first set here. This is exactly how the first set went. Zepieri had chances on the serve of Alcaraz at 4-5 to close the set out. Couldn't do it. So Alcaraz under pressure here at 30 all. What can he do here? Can he find a first serve? Yes, he can. Backhand return from Zepieri. Another backhand from Alcaraz. Zepieri with a forehand. Oh, it's into the net from Alcaraz. And just like the first set, we have a set point for Giulio Zeppieri. It is 30-40 on the serve of Alcaraz. He, he's not found his best tennis as Alcaraz. He's had moments of magic in this match. But he's not quite been himself. And Zeppieri couldn't convert him in the opening set. Can he this time around? It is a set point here. Needs a first serve, really, doesn't he, Alcaraz, here? I can't find it. That goes long. Second serve here on set point. A lot of pressure here now on the top seed. Gets the second serve. Backhand return from Zepieri. Backhand from Alcaraz. Zepieri with the forehand. Alcaraz with the backhand. Zepieri's finding the lines here, but Alcaraz with great defense. Forehand now from Alcaraz. It's into the net. And we are going the distance. It is one set apiece. Zepieri takes the second set. Six games to four. We're going to a third. I did not see that coming after Alcaraz took that first set, but Zepieri breaks Alcaraz to take it. Six games to four. We are going the distance. When the situation's hairy, players wanna scare me, never gonna dare me, Zippy Wow. Yeah, I can see a few of you thinking that as well. What What is happening? Yeah. Ole Zepieri. Well, it is a set apiece. I did not think that would happen after that because I took the first set, but here we are. We're going to a third to decide who is going to make this final. Yeah, it's all right. Actually, it took me a while to realize Zepieri was a lefty. It took me a couple of games, well, a couple of points at least anyway. Um, but yes, he is a lefty. He is indeed. Frederick saying Zepieri is on fire. He's really not going away in this. I thought there would be the danger of him sort of really kind of fading away in that second set, but not at all. I don't know if maybe that ankle roll has thrown Carlos. It didn't look like it. I mean, he seemed to pick himself back up pretty quickly, did Carlos, but uh, this is a very good match of tennis from the Italian here. Uh, Yannick Sinner and... Uh, Franco Agamelone will have to wait because this, well, I mean, this is well over two hours already for uh, for two sets. This could be a long one here. And indeed, yeah, Zepieri, just 20 years of age. Could One of those young Italians that could be on the way up. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I just got it just lost on purpose so I could get 150 likes. Maybe, maybe. But yeah, that gives you all another set now to play with. I need to get to 150 at least. Thank you, everyone who has hit that like button already. 112, we're getting there. Yes, indeed. More overtime. <laughs> Lucky it's tennis, though, isn't it, really? It's, it's the best kind of overtime. 
So Zepieri will serve to get this third undeciding set underway. <laughs> Gary's <laughs> great time to come back here. Yeah. It, it went just the way of the first set to begin with. It uh, got to 5-4. Uh, Zepieri was 5-4 up. Carlos serving to stay in it. Zepieri had set points just like he did in that first set, but he converted the first one this time from Zepieri to take it. So, yeah. We're going to decide her. But Carlos wins the first point on the serve. He hits an excellent little uh, half backhand volley there from Akra to get love 15. And a second serve to look at here. Oh, it's good depth here from Zepieri. Finding the lines, backhand here from Alcaraz, good defense from him as well. Another deep shot from Zepieri. Alcaraz keeps getting them back. And now with the cross court, Zepieri goes back down the line. The forehand from Alcaraz, Zepieri goes cross court. Slice forehand from Alcaraz, Zepieri. Oh, it's into the net. Oh, that could be a costly unforced error from Zepieri there. It's love 30. So now that we're into a third and deciding set, why don't you let me know what your predictions are? How is this third set going to play out? Zepieri or Alcaraz for the final? So a chance maybe here for Alcaraz at love 30. It will be a great response to dropping that second set. Gets the first serve this time, Zepieri. It's a deep return from Alcaraz. Oh, sorry. Well, it was too deep because it was a, it was just called out there. So it's 15-30. That was lucky. Still under pressure, though, Zepieri. Oh, it's an ace down the tee from the Zepieri. It's 30 all. That is eighth. Ace of the match, 211 kilometers an hour, that one. So, from the 30 to 30 all. Game point or break point here? Yeah, it's got a second serve. Come on, hit that like button if you haven't already. Gets the second serve, forehand return. Oh, clips the net, but it lands in. Oh, what a drop shot from Carlos Alcaraz. What a drop shot. It's break point here for the Spaniard. It's 30-40. I'm going to get a replay of this. A forehand. Oh, beautiful drop shot. With great side spin there as well. Break point. Observation here from Jean whether if he uh, if he's going to retire if the match goes to three doesn't need the points and has an entire hard court season to look forward to yeah well he's playing on so far oh and it's a huge vamos from Carlos Alcaraz as he hits a clean winning return off the serve and he does break to open this third set Carlos Alcaraz maybe he is going to try to run away with this now he gets the break in this third and deciding set he leads one game to love. <laughs> the Megan conspiracy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe, maybe, maybe he is just doing this as a favor to me to get me more likes. But uh, he's also putting me through it because I'm a big Carlos fan. So, you know, it'd be less stress for me if he did get it done in, in straights. But here we are. Gary's prediction 6 3 for Alcaraz. Oop, I'm wrong. Why? Rooting for Zepieri. Well, he's got the first point on the serve here in a Zepieri. I've seen Zepieri's got to stop Carlos. Question from Blake, is Carlos injured? Well, he uh, he rolled his ankle in the previous set, trying to run for a drop shot, had a medical timeout, had it strapped up, but he seems to be okay, so it doesn't seem to be hampering too much. Yeah, Dimitri's saying, couldn't do that in the second set. Yeah, 
he thought he would have done it in the second set, but uh, oh, it's a bit another big forehand here from Alcaraz to get to 15 all. Indeed, Leslie. Uh, well, yes, the cinema match is still set for tonight. Well, it's said uh, not before 8 p.m. local time. We are one minute to 8 p.m. local time and still have an entire set to play. So um, it will be following this one, the uh, the Yannick Sinner semi final. Yes. 15 all here on the serve of Carlos, looking to consolidate that early break of serve. Finds the first serve here. Now with a backhand. Backhand from Zeppieri. We're backhand to backhand here. Lefty is Zeppieri, of course. So we're at. Uh, down the line battle here and eventually goes to the forehand cross court is wide from Zeppieri. It's 30-15. Todd saying it didn't take long for Zeppieri to lose his momentum. I honestly, I, th I thought this would have happened sooner, actually. I thought it would have happened in that second set. But uh, yeah, it's a great response from Carlos here. And yeah, he has uh, has lost the momentum here as Zeppieri. Carlos looking to consolidate that break of serve and maybe run away with this third set. Like Jean pointed out, he doesn't need these points. It's a, it's a 250, you know. He's already number five in the world and he's got the US Open to look forward to. But uh, I think he wants to try and defend this title. It was the first his first ATP Tour title, this one, last year. And I, I think maybe I think it's a special tournament for him, really. Well, thank you very much, Leslie. I appreciate that. I try to answer everybody if you ask me questions. Of course, that's what I'm here for. 40-15 here for Carlos. Second serve. Ah, oh, Gary, except for Novak, I'm an underdog supporter. Yeah, true. I mean, I do like an underdog. If if one of the players isn't my favourite, then I'll tend to go for the underdog. But, oh, the return there just goes long from Zepieri. So Alcaraz does consolidate the break of serve. It's two games to love, and he's doing what we maybe thought he would do in the second set. He's, he's responded well to drop in that second set. He has two games to love up now, so he's consolidated for two love. So Zepieri with some work to do here, serving. So, oh, just out there in that serve. So let's see if uh, Alcaraz can run away with this one or if Zepieri's going to make it competitive. Alcaraz was up a break in the first set, if you remember, and Zepieri got it back. Oh, what a forehand cross court from Alcaraz. We've seen so many of those in this match, actually. Some of his big winners have been that forehand cross court, and it's love 15. Maybe Alcaraz is making his move here now. Let's see. If you are watching, please hit the like button. Let's try to get to 150 if we can before the end of this match. Gets the first serve this time to Zepieri. The return is long from Alcara 15 all. Zepieri just taking a little bit more time here. He plays quite quickly, does Zepieri, between the points, actually. Fifteen all. Finds the first serve. Oh, gets the return away to Zakara. Now goes back down that wing to Zepieri. Alcaraz goes down the line. Oh, it's wild from Alcaraz. 30 15. Oh, that was a chance there from Alcaraz, I think. Ah, yes, yeah, Sabine Lazicki. I absolutely love to watch her play back in the day. I mean, when I was younger, anyway, Wimbledon was really one of the only tournaments I could sort of watch and watching Lazicki, you know, doing really well there. I, I really kind of warmed to her. So it's really good uh, to see her trying to come back. And I, I as well hope that she does find her way all the way back. Oh, it's a big forehand cross court this time from Zepieri. It's 40 15. Giving Carlos a taste of his own medicine there. Her friends in Machina Alcaraz. He is a bit sometimes, although he's he's not quite quite found it that much in this match. But yeah, it does seem invincible sometimes, does the young Spaniard. That serve is long from Zepieri, second serve, but he does have 40-15. To at least stay in touch here. Oh, it's a double fault from Zepieri. That's his second double fault of the match. So, 40-30. Oh, yeah, I bet you would, yeah. I was gutted for her because I was really rooting for her in that one, although it was a great win from Bartley as well. But, uh, yeah, that was a huge chance for Lazicki to win a slam. 
So 40-30 here, Zepieri finds the first serve back and return. Oh, and we have, I think that will count as a shank from Zepieri there. Can I play my shank button? Yeah, I think I can. So look like an easy service hole. We are at juice here. Alcaraz eyeing the double break. Zapieri under pressure on serve. Finds the first this time, and the return is long from Alcaraz, so it is advantage Zapieri. Puni from France, siempre demostrando su calidad. Yeah, he's always uh, showing his qualities, is Alcaraz. Even in those matches where he's not playing well, he still finds a way to win them or, you know, to produce some magic, even if he's not playing his best. And I think that's a, that's a really good trait that he's got. Good first serve again from Zepieri. Oh, just lands into the return. Oh, Alcaraz on the return there. Eh? On the stretch, sorry, not the return. Zepieri with the forehand is into the net. And he can't close this game out just yet, can Zepieri. And we are a juice. Yeah, it was a huge win for Bartoli, that title as well. Her first and only Grand Slam, of course. Um, but yeah, it was a huge moment for both of them. But yeah, hopefully that Eliziki can come back. She's She's been getting her way into, into some main draws, but uh, has been struggling then once she's got into them. But hopefully, fingers crossed. So juice here on the serve of Zeppieri. That's an excellent first serve from him, though. It is advantage to the Italian. That is ninth ace of the match. The scoreboard is slightly wrong. It is nine. He has aced himself out of trouble quite a bit, has Zeppieri in this match. Still has the break, though, does Alcaraz. But to keep it to just the one here, Zepieri finds the first serve again. Good back and return. Now goes down the line. Oh, Alcaraz on the stretch. Now the drop shot from Zepieri. Alcaraz is there. What wheels on him? Oh, what a get from Carlos Alcaraz. We're back at juice here. How did he win that point? What a get. And exactly. Demonstrando su calidad. Showing his quality there. Because it wasn't a bad drop shot from Zepieri, but he ran to it. That ankle's definitely not bothering him because the wheels he had on him to get to that drop shot and then push it back past Zepieri. Yeah, you feel a double break would be disastrous, wouldn't it? And it's into the net from Zepieri. It is a break point here for Alcaraz for the double break. And you think it could be the match. If he gets a double break here, is it Alcaraz? But it is a break point. Advantage, Carlos. We'll let on the first serve here. If you are watching, please don't forget to hit the like button. Let's try to get to 150 if we can. We might not have much time left if Carlos does get the double break here. Zepieri under pressure. Finds the first serve. Oh, it's a good return from Alcaraz. Now with the forehand cross court. Backhand from Zepieri. Forehand. Oh, it's wild. Was that in? Oh, no, it was in. What a shot. I was going to say that's a wild forehand from Alcaraz, but it found the line. And it's a double break for Carlos Alcaraz. And you think this match now can be over and done with very quickly. It's a double break. Three games to love. Vamos, Carlos Vamos! So it is the double break for Alcaraz here, Todd's in game set match. You have to think it could be now. Spe well, yeah, if he holds her especially here. I mean, maybe if Zeppi only gets one of the breaks back, he might get a, a bit. <laughs> We're just seeing on the replay here the, the, the look that Carlos Alcaraz just gave his box as he took that double break. <laughs> that was brilliant. He loved it. Yeah, Jean said hoping for Clara Towson to find some form again. Yeah, I actually, I saw... Uh, one of her, I think it was an Instagram post or Twitter post today about her. And I thought, I haven't seen Clara Towson play in a while. She's a good player to watch. And yeah, she's got that match against Petkovic next week as well, which is tough. But uh, I think she's exciting as well as Clara Towson. I'm hoping that uh, she can come back as well and find some form. 
just uh, she's still very young, isn't she? Just ni 19 ish, I think. So both players running to the uh, opposite ends of the court. Alcaraz ready to serve at three, love. You wonder if Zepieri can hang in here, or maybe if that. It's just taking it out of him. So, Akrath serving at three love here. And the crowd just uh, getting a bit too excited here. Akrath ready to serve. And yeah, good point you saying that she's uh, just a few months older than Emma. She actually was, I think, the last player to beat Emma before she won that US Open title. I think Towson had actually beaten her in a, in a smaller tournament um, yeah, prior to that. So she's beaten the US Open champion, Towson. Love 15 here. I think that was a shank, actually. I just saw the, uh, the ball go up into the air. I think that was a shank. So someone in the crowd has caught the ball and is refusing to give it back, I think. Now he's giving it back eventually. <laughs> Zepieri doesn't look too happy about it. He wants to keep playing here. So, love 15. Finds the first serve. It's a good return, but it's got an open court to play with now as Alcaraz. It's 15 all. I love that little racket shake he does. So three love here. Double break. You think it's going to be the final for Carlitos. But let's see. Oh, is that an ace? Zepieri's looking for it. Zepieri thinks that's wide. He's getting the umpire to come down here. He's convinced the Zepieri. And the umpire confirms it is out. So it's not an ace for Alcaraz. It'll be a second serve. Second serve here at 15. Oh, oh it's a double fault from Carlitos. That's his, uh, that's his fifth double fault. Yeah, I don't know why the scoreboard's a bit behind in its stats today, but uh, uh, on my, my stream it has confirmed that was his fifth double fault. So it's... Uh, it's not great stats there from from Alcaraz. Too many enforced errors, and he's hit some some pretty key moments as well. Hopefully that one uh, won't come back to bite him. Finds the first serve there. It's an excellent first serve return. Well, almost found found the court, but it is thirty all. Just what he needed there. Good first serve for Carlos. The crowd trying to get Zepieri at least a, a game in this third set. But Carlos is ready to play. <laughs> Second serve, that one was just long. If you are watching, please hit the like button if you haven't already. I will keep asking. I have to. Second serve. Good return. Forehand now from Carlos. Backhand from Zepieri. Oh, it's a wild forehand there from Carlos. And it is a break point here for Zepieri. So a point to get one of the breaks back. Break breaks back? Yeah. <laughs> Break that's hard to say. <laughs> get one of the breaks back. 30-40 <laughs> on the serve of Alcaraz. Maybe there is another twist in the tail to this match yet. Alcaraz facing a break point. Can he find a first serve? He can. Comes in for the serve and volley, but he doesn't need to do a thing because the return is wide and he does save another break points. We're juicier. <laughs> David's back <laughs> and a bit confused. Yeah, this match is somehow still on. Like, <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> Over two and a half hours and we've played two and a half sets. Yeah, Zepieri somehow managed to break Carlos as he was serving to stay in the second set. But double break now for Carlos. Doesn't find a first serve here, though, at Juice. Zepieri is the ghost of Christmas past. I like that. Yeah, he is, really. I mean, credit to him for, for taking that second set, to be honest. But, um, yeah, Alcaraz seemingly running away with this third. 
were let on the second serve. There was a tentative second serve there. He's hitting a few double faults, so maybe he was just uh, just trying to roll that one in. So he'll get another go at it. Oh, God, that deuce. Second serve is away. It's a deep return from Zeppieri. Oh, it's a big forehand down the line from Zeppieri, and he's got another break point here. It is advantage Zeppieri. That's a big forehand from the lefty. So break point to try and get one of the breaks back. Second break point in this game. Alcaraz, can he find a first serve here? No, it was just wide there, I think. Second serve. Forehand return from Zeppieri. Big forehand from Alcaraz, and it's too big. It's long, and Zeppieri gets one of the breaks back. It is three games to one. Well, that was somewhat unexpected, but it is the break for Zeppieri. Situations hairy, players wanna scare me, never gonna dare me, zippy airy. Zeppieri here is at 15 love on his serve. Has a second serve here. Back and return. Oh, it's a clean winner off the return from Carlos Alcaraz. 15 all. He's hit a couple of those in this match as, as Alcaraz. Unfortunately not, Peaches. I, I, I won't be able to do uh, the, the Cine match or any of the Atlanta ones today, but hopefully I'll be able to do um, maybe one or two of the finals tomorrow. But uh, yeah, this is my only match of the day. That's a good serve. Gets the return and played as Carlos. Now he's at the net. Is Zeppieri puts it away with the volley. It's 30-15, it's excuse me. Yeah, he wants me to have more time to get to 150. Come on, let's get to 150 if we can. We're in a third set. We're closing in. 121 so far. If you are watching, please hit the like button. Need something to build on for Zeppieri here to get one of the breaks back. It is good for him because he could have just faded there. But he is hanging in. He's got a second serve here. Oh, it's a good second serve. Carlos digs the return in. But it's great length from Zeppieri. It's 40-15. Well, from three love, could be 3-2 here. So it's not over yet. Zeppieri, 40-15. Oh, it's an ace to close out the game. He does consolidate that break back, and it is three games to two. And that is a tenth ace of the match for Zeppieri. Ten aces to three from Alcaraz, and then two double faults for Zeppieri to five of Alcaraz. So it's, uh, it's better on the serve for uh, Zeppieri. But it is Alcaraz still with the break. Might not be the double break, but he still has one to play with. So he just needs to hold serve. But it has been a tough old slog for him so far this match for Alcaraz. Yeah, Zeppier, he's not done just yet. Tells him when will Alcaraz begin to feel the pressure, if at all? Yeah, does Alcaraz feel pressure? I think, I think he must do. But... Uh, I think probably now that he's he's got one of those breaks back, Zeppieri, he might start to feel it. But again, he's always so good in the big moments, is Alcaraz. I think he'll find a way to come through. I really do. 
let's just hope this isn't going to be a, you know, a really, really long one. Yeah, I'm hoping I'll be able to finish this one. I've, uh, I have some people coming around at about eight o'clock, so uh, let's hope this is finished in the next half an hour or so. <laughs> That started at half four as well. This is, this is ridiculous. Two hours and 40 minutes. Two and a half sets played. But Carlos Alcaraz serving at 3-2 with a break. It's not the double break that he did have, but it, it's still a break. Can he hold on to it? Needs to stop the run of games from Zepieri. Finds the first serve, back and return. Now the back and from Alcaraz. Zepieri with the cross court. Down the line from Alcaraz. Zepieri through the middle of the court. Alcaraz. Oh, it's just landed in. Oh, now he's coming into the net. Is Alcaraz with the drop shot? Zepieri gets there. Alcaraz. Oh, no. No. It is Zepieri's point. It is love 15 here. Wow. <laughs> It was a double breakup, and uh, credit to Zepieri. I know I keep saying that, but yeah, it was exactly. Great depth there on that uh, down the line shot from the drop shot. This guy is good. Qualified for this tournament, and he's really pushing the world number five. Love fifteen. Finds the first serve again this time. Oh, it's another good one, too, from Alcaraz. But Zepieri gets there again. Alcaraz now with the back and into the net. It's love 30. Wow. <laughs> Three love up, and now he's love 30 at 3 2. If Zepieri gets both of these breaks right back while. I don't know how this is going to go. Yeah, what a dig. He's just, he's hes so good, this guy. Like, how have we not heard of him? Well, I mean, he is 20 years old, I suppose. He's very young, but... Good first serve again. Takes it out of the air on the uh, return. Does Alcaraz. Zepieri, can he get to the drop shot? He can. Alcaraz with the volley. This time it's a winner for Carlos and a big fist pump from Carlos because it's 15-30 instead of fifth, uh, love 40. Excuse me. David, I don't know what's going on. I really don't. Alcaraz was a double break up here, serving at three love, and now suddenly Zepieri, yeah, Zepieri is not done. He is not done. But, uh, Carlos, he's hanging in. 15-30, just got a hold serve. Easier said than done. Gets a first serve. He's finding his first serve, but he's into the net on the plus one. And it's two break points here for Zepieri. And from a double break up, we could be back on serve here. I did not see this coming. How many times have I said that in this match? But it is two break back points here to get us from three love to three all. Danger time. This is really impressive from the young Italian. Two break points. Finds the first serve. Return is into the net from Zepieri. One saved. 30 40. That's a ninth break point in this match. He saved as Alcaraz. Still got another one, though, as Zepieri. Is he going to get us back on serve? I would have bet anything against it. <laughs> Second serve here for Alcaraz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's 20, looks the same age as Fonini. I was very surprised at that as well. Because, uh, yeah, I, I went to look at his, uh, his ranking and uh, found that He's age 20 years of age. He really does look a lot older than 20, but he is 20. Oh, it's a shank from Alcaraz. It's a shank from Alcaraz, and he hands the double break back to Zepieri, and we are on serve. Yeah. 
what is happening? <laughs> Algeth was serving at three love and now it's three all. How, how? I just, <laughs> I don't know what to say. What is happening? So Zepieri is serving at three all. And it is all to play for again. First service into the net, though, from Zepieri. Second serve. Okay, I said I've forgotten everything I know about Mazzetti watching this guy. I know it's these young Italians with the, all the excitement. Oh, but it's a winner off the return of serve from Alcaraz. It's love 15. Road to 150, still alive. Go on, 124. Let's get to 150 if we can. There's more than 150 of you watching along, so if you haven't already, please hit the like button. <laughs> How are we in this position? I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, it's a very strange match, this one. The crowd definitely getting their money's worth. They're loving it. They really are. How are we still playing? Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, something's happened to Zepieri here. Oh, dear. Zepieri is limping as the physio has been called to the court. What happened? I missed that there. So after we had this in the second set with Alcaraz, Zepieri, I think maybe he must have rolled his ankle, but he's limping. Are we going to get a? Are we going to get a replay here to see what happened? He, he's smiling, is Zepieri? I don't know what's happened there. As if this match couldn't get any weirder, it just it does. What? <laughs> Because I was confused there. It looked like he'd given up on the rally. He was still sort of hitting balls as it, as it came to him, but uh, eventually limped off. I can't uh, can't quite tell what this is. Yeah, the... Okay, it wasn't just me. I thought I, I missed something somewhere. But yeah, he did just kind of limp off out of nowhere. I, my, my first instinct was maybe cramp. But um, yeah, like big trades tennis in there. Um... Well, the physio's come to the court and then been dismissed by Zepieri. Zepieri's gone back to the baseline. So it is love 30. We haven't really had an explanation. And like I said, the physio came, didn't do anything. Just spoke to him. Um, the screen is saying a medical timeout, but we're playing on. It's love 30, but he was limping there, Zepieri. I think it might have been cramp. Let's see. Second serve here. Alcaraz with a forehand return. Backhand from Zepieri on the stretch. Cross court from Alcaraz. Backhand from Zepieri. Alcaraz with a big forehand. Zepieri goes cross court. Alcaraz goes down the line. Forehand from Zepieri. Backhand from Alcaraz. Zepieri runs around for the forehand. Goes long and it's love 40. I think he's cramping. I think Zepieri's cramping here. Yeah. I think it might just be showing. I mean, just a young 20-year-old hasn't really played much of these big matches. I mean, this is the best run he's put together. And, um, yeah, as David's saying, he's, he's not moving very well at all. Ooh, that return has gone long, though, from Alcaraz. So one break point saved. 15-40. But, yeah, he is, he's, he's not walking particularly well here, Zepieri. I Yeah, I think you're, you're right. And I think it is cramp. Especially because he didn't have the physio do anything to him. What's a good deep return of serve here? Zepieri with the forehand cross court. Backhand from Alcaraz. Zepieri with the forehand is into the net and Alcaraz breaks. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, this is one of the weirdest matches I've called, to be honest. <laughs> but it is a break. He's got the break back as Alcaraz. So I'll play the break button at least. And I think it does feel a bit harsh if I play the Alcaraz button here because, I mean, Zepieri is cramping. But uh, the Alcaraz button is so catchy, so I am going to play because he has got the break. It's 4-3. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Uno, dos, tres, vamos. Vamos, Carlos Alcaraz. Vamos. So the physio is on the court now and is doing something to, uh, well, they've just cut away from it here. So I'll have a look. It looks to be his thigh, his hamstring, or his, yeah, maybe a hamstring. 
Well, let's see. Anyway, it's, it's, it, I think it's called a medical timeout uh, at this change of ends here. But uh, uh, yeah, Gary, I, I think it's cramp. They haven't, you haven't confirmed anything, and I haven't been able to hear anything. But uh, it, it looks very much like it's cramp. So we'll get some uh, some work on it here with this change of ends. But Carlos does have the break. What a strange match. So time has just been called. Alcaraz is up and ready. Let's see how he plays here. Yeah, very good point here. Zepieri had a set point in that first. It could have been a straight sets match for him, but uh, here we are. We find ourselves in a third set. It was a double break up. <laughs> Back on serve, but now he has the break, Alcaraz. So serving at 4-3 to a cramping Zepieri. Gets a second serve here, does Alcaraz, as that goes along. You feel like he's, he's got to be ruthless here, Alcaraz. I know it's harsh when the other the opponent's cramping, but... Oh, that return came right back at the shoelaces of Alcaraz, and Zepieri gets the point. It's love 15. That was a complete misjudgment, I think, from Alcaraz there. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you're watching along. Come on, let's get to 150 if we can before the end of this one. Oh, it's a good serve down the tee from Alcaraz. The return is wide from Zepieri, 15 all. Alcaraz. Oh, harsh, David, yeah. Remember that match uh, was Del Potro's last... Last professional match. Well, he's he's actually playing a um, his Nazi's been playing an exhibition with Rafa, I think, um, sometime later in the year, is it? But yeah, Del Bonis drop shot in the hell out of a uh, out of Del Potro in that match. It was painful to watch that, but he was ruthless. I mean, he got him the win, did Del Bonis, but uh, it was painful to watch. Uh, the return is into the net there from Zepieri, thirty fifteen. But yeah, sometimes you've you've got to be ruthless. As Mary Carrillo says, you've got to have fangs. And he does have fangs, I think, does Alcaraz. So, 30-15. Oh, just wide on the serve. I miss Del Potro. He's one of my favourite players. I really miss him. To think what his career could have been if he hadn't had those injuries. Oh, it's a wild return of serve from Zepieri, 40-15. And you think this is probably a virtual match point. I know after dropping the double break. Um, oh, you can see here Zepieri's doubled over here. I think this is a virtual match point for Alcaraz. Cramp is catching up to Zepieri, 40-15. Gets the first serve. Sliced return, another forehand. Yeah, Zepieri can barely move at the back of the court here. It is five games to three. Carlos Alcaraz backs up the break and he is one game away from a place in the final. Yeah, it's unfortunate. And you can see Zepieri's really struggling to move at the back. He's even walking to the baseline to serve. He's, uh, he's limping a little bit. So he's serving to stay in this in this match. Oh, that serve as well. He barely just kind of pushed up on it. And he's wide there, Zepieri, uh, to love 15. And I think this is curtains for the young Italian. What a fight he has put up, Zepieri. He's really pushed Carlos, but I think the condition and maybe just the lack of matches is catching up to him. And uh, the cramp is just is too, too much here. Pretty much done. It is pretty much done, honestly, unless he can find some aces. Oh, and he almost did there, but it's just out there. Oh, yeah, I reckon five plus majors, definitely, if he'd have stayed healthy, Delpo, honestly. So bad. This. Oh, it's a, sorry, <laughs> I'm halfway through my sentence there, but it's a forehand winner from Alcaraz is love 30. Yeah, I think so. Even in the era of the big three, I think he would have won so many more majors. Yeah, close to five, I think. Maybe more. Good first serve this time. Oh, but he's long, and it is three match points for Carlos Alcaraz. Where's my match point button? Oh, I found it. Here it is. Match 
point. And it's a second serve here for Zeppieri on match point. Is Carlos Alcaraz going to get out of trouble? He does. Zeppieri doesn't even move for it. What a strange match. Alcaraz will be so relieved to come through that. And um, yeah, nice exchange at the net here, but it was definitely cramp there that just got the better of Zeppieri. But he pushed Alcaraz so far. I mean, that match could have been Zeppieri's in, in two if he'd taken that set point. But we've got a big celebration here from Alcaraz. It is an unfortunate way for it to end. And uh, indeed, Tom, we'll definitely be seeing this guy again. He's just 20 years of age and he's qualified for this. He's made the semi final and he's pushed Carlos really far. And uh, yeah, he's done really, really well. A very strange match, as Todd said, two injuries, but uh, one, one really just hampered the end of that match. It's a, an unfortunate ending, but it is Carlos Alcaraz, the defending champion, who comes through it in three, seven, five, four, six, six, three. So he will play in the final tomorrow. Uh, the next final uh, will be uh, Yannick Sinner versus another Italian qualifier, Franco Agamemnone. And uh, well, if it's a if it's a Sinner Alcaraz final, hopefully I'll be able to cover some, that for you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Gary, actually, Gary, the taking the uh, prediction king. His title maybe for this one predicting three six three for Alcaraz in this one but yeah congrats to Carlos Alcaraz he is through thank you everybody for joining me on the stream uh, we we did get close to 150 131 so thank you if you have liked the stream and uh, subscribe if you're new as well before we go uh, thank you for joining me on this one it's been a uh, yeah, it's been a weird one but it's been a good one and uh, hopefully I will see you on some more again so thanks guys and I will catch you on the next match